time. Oh, he gave up a hell of a fight. But it's all time. LB. He gave a good fight. But the tech preacher is here. Mm. Welcome to the funeral. Yes. Ball bearers. Members of the congregation. It's funeral time. And y'all guys just missed the epic fight. LB just lost to Viper. Welcome to another episode of the funeral. LB! Sorry, man. Got to get buried. Man, man, man. LB, you put up a good fight. But unfortunately... You didn't fight hard enough. You let the captain of Team Apple whip you up. Mm, mm, mm. Welcome, members of the congregation. Today is a sad day. My brother LB just lost an epic fight. If y'all didn't know what happened, go to my man Mike's channel. He just had a, a epic Saturday night fight. And it went blow for blow, round after round. Unfortunately, LB lost. He lost. Uh, uh, uh. So let's go on and dissect the reason why LB lost. Well, the first round, LB came out fighting. Took Team Apple to the, to the mat. Almost KO'd him. But Team Apple came back in the second round with a fight. An epic fight. Then in the third round, they had a draw. Then in the last and final round, Team Apple came back with double blows and uppercuts and destroyed LB. So today, guys, we go funeralize LB. Now, let's talk about LB for a second. He spoke a lot of things. Very knowledgeable guy. You know, he, he you know, he was on a bandwagon. For a while, you know, right now he owes us a pepper. If y'all don't know, watch my live streams. You know, LB is very knowledgeable, you know, and I mean, he did his best. And, you know, I, it, it's one of those things that we hate to put him in a casket and bury him. But at the end of the day, if he lost, he lost. It's all good. And you know what? When we talk about these Saturday night fights, I want to give a huge thanks to Mike, Tech King Mike, for developing something that we need in a tech space. We need this in a tech space. We need spice. We need laughter. We need happiness. Sometimes you can't win. And the way the tech scene is, you only have one winner and one loser. And as you can see, LB came up on the losing end. Definitely came up on the losing end. So Paul Bearers, members of the congregation, I give to you LeBaron. He gave a good fight. Maybe he might make a comeback one day. Unfortunately, not today. Viper, 
from Team Apple. Just smacked him around, beat him up, and laid him down for the count. Mm, mm, mm. I want to welcome everybody to the after party and the funeral of LB. We're going to talk about a lot of different things tonight, but I had to bury my boy. You know, I've been knowing LB for a short period of time. And he done his thing. He came on my live streams. And he entertained us with a lot of things, some false promises here and there. You know, very knowledgeable guy. I remember back in the day when he talked about the Galaxy Fold, said that the Galaxy Fold was going to come out. He was going to buy the Galaxy Fold. We can't wait to come out. And the Galaxy Fold will come out. He said that months and months ago. Unfortunately, it didn't come out. A lot of people gave LeBaron a title of Samsung Knight. Then some people gave him the title of Samsung White Knight. Now, nah, from the look of it, he lost this round. And I want to talk a little bit about the stream. He talked a little bit about Apple a little bit. Look, I would agree on some of the points that LB made, right? But one of the biggest things that I believe that LB lost was the ecosystem. Listen, man, the ecosystem was the one that got a beat. You cannot beat Apple ecosystem. And I think that's where LB lost is because of the ecosystem. Look, when you go back and watch that live stream, it was very easy for Viper to beat LB when it come down to the ecosystem. LB took a stance, said that the Android ecosystem or Samsung ecosystem is better than Apple. I totally disagree with LB on that one. That was easy. That was very easy. I don't understand why LB took that stance. Listen, as much as we like the ecosystem, on, on Android, it cannot compete to the Apple ecosystem. I mean, that's well known. If you got an iPad, if you got, uh, you know, iPhone and MacBooks and, and everything in between, right? It all coincide with each other. The ecosystem of Apple is very good. The ecosystem, I think that's the one that really got LB beat. He made a lot of good points about things. But when it came down to the ecosystem, you can't win. You cannot win on the ecosystem. As much as I don't use Apple iPhones, I, I do use MacBooks and I do use iPads. And I can tell you, going from one to the next is seamless. As much as I don't make Apple videos on this YouTube channel, I can almost tell you that the ecosystem is where LB lost because you can't you can't compete with the ecosystem. Listen, but the, the ecosystem of Apple is next to none. I believe if LB would have took a different stance on the ecosystem, he might have had a chance. It was a very very tight race, but LB lost. It, I mean, it's it, he lost. Absolutely. So, Paul Bearers and members, I give you LeBaron. He must go in this rightful place. And we have to bury him now. Before we lay our heads and say our last goodbyes to LB, just remember one thing, that he can make a comeback. He could make a comeback. Well, we have to wait and see. And if LB make a comeback, he, he reads, we, we'll do a resurrection. But right now, sorry, LB. So let's take a moment and say our last goodbyes to LB. Sorry, LB. You was a good man. Good man. So sorry that you lost. LB, 
be. Man, you should have came out punching. Especially when you have an apple pyrrhus to have a lot of facts. You can't do it, man. You can't do it. Sorry, LB. Wow. Let's all bow our heads and say our last goodbyes. It's a possibility that LB might come up for a resurrection, but not right now. So sorry, LB. There's no time to cry, weep. This is a celebration. LB gonna learn his lesson that when you come, you got to come home. You can't fail. You got to make a difference. You got to have a good argument. Don't give breaks. Fight the fight with the time that you have. Don't give up. Never give them a chance to fight back. Because if you give them a chance, this is what happened. One, two punch. One, two punch. And you're down for the count. LB. Wow. Sorry, man. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe next week, a week after next, if we have another challenge, maybe LB can resurrect itself. All right. Now, let's get into your guys' comments. What I'm going to do right now, since the funeral procession is over, I'm going to play the music one more time as we change the scenery a little bit. And let's get back to the broadcast. So get your popcorn ready and let's take a minute break as we change up a little bit and we go talk about tech. Sorry, LB. Be right back. Talk to Munging Cells. y'all we about to get on in it give me a second what's going on everybody <laughs> Woo -woo. what's going on everybody I'm about to come back on in a minute I'm trying to get everything straight
<laughs> What's good, everybody? All right. I had to get everything straight for y'all. All right, let's get everything back together here. All right, let's get let's get back in it. <laughs> Woo! What's up, everybody? This is Eric Trevis of Computer Solutions. Oh my goodness, that was that was epic, man. If y'all didn't know how epic that was, that was epic. Ah. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. Now, I wasn't ready for no live stream like this, but uh, I, I had to do a little something, you know what I'm saying, to have some fun. You know, let me get let me get myself in the middle a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to do a little something for everybody. Let me see if I can get myself in the middle a little bit. It's kind of hard to change up a little bit. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Oh, man. Oh, yes, it was epic. Oh, I was so confused on the fight. Uh, well, you know, I mean, the fight was all right. The fight was all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes I did. <laughs> oh man yes it was no holes barred man oh so how y'all doing today man uh how y'all doing today man it, it, look we having some fun man and uh oh man let me tell you something i was actually filming a video and uh i had to I had to get this, get this epic of awesomeness. Um, I had to get the epic of awesomeness off all awesomeness going on. And uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. No one could no one could prepare for this. No, man. No, no, no. I didn't know I right, so as as I was watching, as I was watching the stream, right? And I, I wanted to put the name next to the coffin. So uh, as as the stream ended and they, they announced the winner, I had to hurry up and go and uh, put, you know, put in the uh, the capture, right? Uh, so it was fun, man. This is, I'm going to tell you something, man. If you didn't know how good times are right now for us YouTubers, man, I mean, you think about it, man. We, we, just, we just pulled off some epic awesomeness uh, for two hours, man. Uh, it was, it was great, man. It, it was really great. It was really great. Yes, I wrote, look, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm on it, man. Shout out to the Galaxy Note Nine crew in the building. Galaxy Note Nine crew in the building. What's up? That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. So, man, think about what just happened. We gathered our community up of favorite, you know, YouTubers and, and people that's not YouTubers. LB is not a YouTuber. And we put something together that we communicated with each other. And we put something awesome together that haven't been done. It's like this hasn't been done. And uh, I am so glad to be a part of it. Uh, and uh, this is what I like. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was, look, I, <laughs> look, I, 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 I thought about like after the stream, what I want to change scenes. Um, I thought about, okay, I got to take the suit off. Look, I got, I mean, I have all these lights pointing at me. Right. And even though I have all these vents in my studio, listen, a heavy suit that I'll be wearing sometimes. It uh it 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 definitely was heavy, man. It, I mean it's hot, right? It's hot. So um yes. Shout out to TK. Now uh anybody that want to come on the stream, uh just let me know. I'll invite you to the stream. Let's talk. I mean, I I don't I invite some of you guys on the stream. If you want to come on the stream, 
uh, just hit me up and uh, we can have some fun. If y'all think, if, if y'all want to uh, uh, come on the stream, hit me up. Uh, hit me up in, uh, in in my DM and I will send you a link if you want to come on stream. And let's talk about the, um, the you know, the fight that happened. Or you want to talk about tech. If you want to talk about tech, uh-oh, somebody just hit me up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so uh, so who anybody want to come on the stream? Y'all just hit me up, man. Uh, I want to join. Uh, hit me up in the um, hit me up, hit me up in the DMs, man. Hit me up in the DM and I, I'll send you a link. Hit me up in the DM. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, Obadella Tech. <laughs> uh, yes. Go ahead and hit me up. If if you are new and you want to come on this YouTube channel, hey, it's open season right now. If you want to come on here, hit me up in my DM on, on Twitter and I'll send you a link. Um, hit me up on Twitter and uh, I'll send you a link. All right. So, uh, yes. Oh, it's in the middle of the night for you. Huh? <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you, man, I the question is, where's LB? I don't know. Uh, LB, if you watch it, I think LB was driving. I think LB is driving. So uh, LBC was driving. Hold on. I mean, I, I seen your link, man, if you want to – <laughs> oh, hey man, El Boogie man, you won't look. Uh, <laughs> All right, so hold on. Let me let me uh hold on. Let me let me see the uh, let me send this link out, man. <laughs> oh, I, I I see I see you I see you I see you. I'm about to see you late. Ah. Uh, Boom. There we go. All right. There it is. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. So I sent out a link. Uh, yeah, I sent out a link. Uh, hit me up. Man, I just realized. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I about just realized uh, where well, I've seen your face from. Uh, the old Apple Watch LTE video from years ago. Yeah, yeah, I did a video. Yes, yes. So I did a video uh, with the Apple Watch LTE, and I used it without a phone. I, I used the, the, the watch all day without a phone, and uh, it was pretty good, man. I mean, I made phone calls. I had the uh, I had uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones connected to my Apple Watch. I was listening to music. I was doing all kinds of things in that video straight from the Apple Watch, and it was pretty epic. Now, the battery life wasn't that great. I got through the whole day. I believe if you go back and watch that video, I got through the whole day. So, um, yes. All right, so I I I, I see y'all. Let me go and send the link. There we go. Boom. All right, I'm sending out some links. I'm sending some links out. All right. <laughs> uh, you got hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter, and uh, I see somebody. I, I see some of y'all guys hit me up. I sent some links out. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, hit me up, hit me up on Twitter and uh, I will send you uh DM me. DM me on Twitter. Yes. If you watched the beginning of the stream, you saw one of the most live epics uh, epic uh funerals I ever did and that was off the cuff. I look, it was coming to my head, man. I I it, I didn't plan for it. Uh, and uh, it was it was fun, man. I didn't plan for it. Thank you, appreciate it, Zach. What's the topic? It, no topic, no topic. It's uh, whatever y'all want to talk about. It was no topic, man. We just just having fun. Uh, so I did sent up. Um, I sent out some links. So yes, 
All right. Let's talk about the let's talk about the iPhone 11 since that that's we are iPhone season. All right. So we we got the keynote address. All right. We got the keynote address that's coming uh, on the 11th. And uh, there you go, LB. Hey, I want to I want to talk to the commission. I want to talk to <laughs> the commissioner. Somebody. <laughs> Cause I was robbed. <laughs> oh, bro, dog! You know where you lost at? The eagle. I lost dog. because it should have never went. To, look, if I had a, if I had a, I should have just agreed with him so that you know. I guess that's no, what you do. Was, it, just it agree. Was, it was the ecosystem, dog. I, I, I ain't even gonna lie to you, dog. But it's yeah. a. It's it's a debate, so you gotta take one side of it. So if Man. I had took the other side of it, he would have he would have agreed with me. I mean, it, what 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 do you do? Yeah, hey, bro. <laughs> See, LB eyes is swollen. <laughs> See, look, leave, look, leave the emperor been talking all that junk. He can come and get some. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, it was all good fun though. But I think you dog when you dog all right. So I mean you can't win on ecosystem. That's one thing. Now you could have you couldn't talk about TV galaxy. Is. Now the galaxy got an ecosystem. The TV but I wasn't even arguing that. The point oh. of it, the point of it is this in a debate, right? You have to choose the opposite side. It's uh, your ability to debate your way out. I didn't do it, okay? Somebody brought up a good point that I could have. I missed that point. <laughs> but I was still a little razzled, razzled at the fact that I just got finished boxing around where the boxer actually took my fist and put it in his mouth, and it still ended up a draw. <laughs> Bro, ah, I gotta get my drink. Shit. Man, I'm LB. still trying to figure out how that nah, happened. Nah, I, LB, I'm trying to enjoy. I'm trying to enjoy the rest of the evening with my wife. And here you come talking, but I want to talk to the commissioner. Now you now. <laughs> look. I want to talk to the commissioner because I think Tech King might got some money under the table. I want an investigation. <laughs> 198 more subs, and then we can have that argument. <laughs> meow, meow. Uh, I want to. Meow, meow, bitch. Meow, meow. I want to. Meow, 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 bitch. Meow, meow. Meow, I'm so confused on what happened tonight. Like, it seemed like ain't nobody was answering their damn questions. Everyone was dancing around, though. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell, y'all talking about, I, I talk craziness, y'all. You should have been mad at the fact that the guy agreed with me and got away with it. I I was just mad in general because, like, if I had these rules in our first fight, I would have won. <laughs> Especially with the with me and get, I'm, why is everybody missing what I'm saying? Do you hear the words that are coming out my mouth? How does the guy agree with me and get away with it? Um, It looks like he did. I'm, Easily, somebody see you a money man. Somebody, it was some money put somewhere. I need to, I need to see, I need to see Tech King. Tell me, tell me, how I you gonna say it was some money down. somewhere? How you gonna say it was some money somewhere when everybody was betting on you? What good would it have done me to own the fight against <laughs> no. against you when you everybody was betting fight, on no. you? Right, right. It was some money. It, it was a nah. ringer. Nah, wasn't no, no money up here. Want no money? I'm a Christian man. I wouldn't do that. Oh, those! Hey, look, those be the first ones that I don't trust. You talking to? You talking to a preacher's kid? So, look. so uh, one one quick thing. Uh, let's see, uh, Michael. It, it, uh, I think I don't know. Can you D? It won't let me DM. I, I, can you DM if you're not? No. Nah, yeah, easy. You, you you don't allow people to DM you. Oh, really? Unless you've already in the conversation with them. Yeah. Okay, uh, hit me up oh, on, on Instagram. A Discord. Yeah. Uh, hit me up. No, I so, I mean, I'm, I got. If you go to my about page, I got like all my social media. 
Um, or just uh, email me. I'll send you a link. And then Chad is being ruthless, boys. <laughs> dog, you still in the you still in the you still in the, the, the van, dog? You know the van, dog. Why does everybody keep calling this a van? It's not a van. <laughs> oh, it's a truck. <laughs> oh. Oh I man, know, guys, I literally y'all, just walked y'all talk in the to door yourself. and I was like, you know, let me, I let me see if I get, get my stream. boy in here. Let me get get uh, I, I I got I got the Instagram. Hold on, let me let me get 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 home boy in here. Hold on, y'all y'all talk. Uh oh. Right. Yeah, the, the fight tonight was great. Although uh, I thought Viper <laughs> riled up the crowd, he got the emotions going on his side. Yeah. Even yeah. It, it even seemed like he had the a judge's emotions on his side too. He well, really worked the crowd like a WWE superstar. I was like, God damn, Viper. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He did work the crowd. And I, and, and the thing is, while LB doing all this hollering, can't nobody say nothing like they did with his fight in tech rank. I stayed out of it. I stayed out of it. Can't nobody say it was uh, anything had anything to do with me. I stayed out of it. Boy, stop it. <laughs> 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 Stop, hey, man! You got look, look. I didn't, I didn't do anything. All right, I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I, I didn't do right. anything. <laughs> nah, the- I'm still trying to figure out how do you agree? And it'd be a draw. If someone can give me a clear explanation of that. I'm just saying. Well, it seems that uh, if you both punch each other at the same time and hit each other at the same time, that's a draw. So that's basically what y'all did. No, we didn't because he agreed with me. (laughs) Well, agreeing and punching at the same time, it's it's the same. No, no, no. It's a debate and you got to choose one side of the argument. I had the vantage point. I chose my side and he agreed. That means that you didn't have enough to argue, so you just surrendered that round. So I should have won. That, I should have won that round on technicality. I'm not going to call it a TKO, but I should have won that round on a technicality that he couldn't argue. Well, if that's the case, then I should have won. The last debate between me and you, when I said that the average consumer can't afford phones, flagship phones, everyone's laughing at me like, I'm stupid, but uh, but not everyone knows numbers like how I do. So, uh, I, 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 I'm trying to figure out how he agrees with me in a debate and it becomes a draw. What's up, Tech for You Needs? What's good? Ooh. I can't oh, hear you. Yeah, I think you muted. No. Uh, microphone part not working. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's your microphone. Man. Well, LB, you'll have a rematch. You said what? You'll get a, you'll get a rematch. It ain't gonna be no rematch because he ain't gonna try to he ain't gonna try to rematch it. <laughs> Yo, all right, so we got the good panel going on here. What out with you? I see you. Take for your knees, Michael. What's happening? What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, all right. Take for take for your knees, Lewis. You having uh technical difficulty, sir? Uh oh, we can't hear you. You might have to you might have to log out and come back in. Um I had to uh, stop the live stream on my iPad. I uh, was getting echo. That would have been bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I got to put a little in, uh, input on here. I got to be honest with you guys and say uh, I had a little hard time with that draw on that round with LB. Mm. Okay. Wait, 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 what happened? Get, go ahead and talk about it. So... If it's supposed to be a debate, whether it's on your side or not, you can argue the other side. I was an apple sheep for the longest time, but I go both. You know, there's 
good things for both. That doesn't mean you can't agree with somebody, but it also means, you know, LB comes in and throws in his point. The other guy's got to know how to be the devil's advocate. Right. Well, I think, like I said, I think the LB probably would have won. I think when it came down to the ecosystem, though, don't y'all agree with me? I think the ecosystem was the one. It was shouldn't have made it. It shouldn't have made it to the ecosystem. That's what the point is. But it LB, been- well, LB, this, 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 I need you to think about it. I need you to think about it like this. Let's let's look at the events that went down in that round. Now I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna go on to go because I'm go, I'm gonna go cuddle up with my oracle. And I'm gonna say this <laughs> first and foremost. I backed out of it. I realized where it was going, and I backed out, and I left it to the judges. And the judges made the decisions that they made. Now, here's the thing. If Tech Rant would have said it was a draw, then we would have had a bonus round. Or it could have been a knockout. But they didn't say that. They said it was a draw. So, therefore, two judges said it was a draw. One person said it was you. That vote went towards you. Now, yeah, but, Viper beat you. But, but, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Viper beat you by one. So if the last round would have went down the way it did, and say Viper would have lost, two people would have voted in your favor and one person in his favor, you would have won. So at the end of the day, it didn't matter how that round went. It was still going to come down to that last round, which was a knockout. No, and it you know, wasn't. I was up. I would have been up three to one. LB. You, you, you know what, LB? My percentage just went up okay. on how much I, on how much I asked for. My percentage has just gone up on how much I asked for. When me and you get to talking again, we'll have to renegotiate your contract. I'm gonna go cuddle up with my wife. I ain't got to deal with this. You lost. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I, I, I'm just saying. It would have been three to one. You could have went out like a gracious champ, but you're going out. You're going out. I don't like how you're doing this, LB. Now no, I've been promoting. Hey, you. no, I'm, promoting I'm giving you now. I'm, no, I'm giving him the win. I'm gonna give him the win. That's that, that's that. But I'm I'm fighting for this rule to be changed. This rule has to be changed. No other fighter can come through this and have be done like this. I won't allow it. I'm going to take a Kaepernick and take a knee. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's fine, and Daddy. Hey, I want my cut of all the fights. Listen here, be. Oh, be listen here. I'll be listen here. <laughs> now I know you like nerve guns just like me. So check me out. We can settle this the old-fashioned way. All right, hold on. We can settle this the old-fashioned way, LB. I'll get in that truck and drive to Chicago. I ain't playing. Hold on, let me do like T. (laughs) (laughs) Now, you can either take your L graciously or you can take your L like you're doing. And I'm going to tell you, it ain't looking good right now. It ain't looking good right now, LB. I feel like Roy Jones Jr. in the Olympics. It's just that it, it just something there's the rig is up. I'm gonna tell you what, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Thank you so much to Mr. Eric from Easy Computer Solutions for that wonderful, wonderful funeral service. It was beautiful home going for LeBaron Burton Sr. It was a beautiful, beautiful service. The music brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> it, it it was just a beautiful, <laughs> enjoyable service. I, I I I saw it in the street. I saw the horse with the carriage, and I just knew. I just knew that LB was going home in style. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got to see it with my own eyes. And uh, stay tuned for the for the tag team battle. L- e- Eric, I will see you on the next stream uh, Wednesday night or the next one. LB, stop it, man. Just stop it. Take take it for what it is. Take it for what it is. <laughs> Mr. Catwoman. Mr. Catwoman. Yes, sir. You 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 deserve to get back in the ring if this is how LB is going to act after a loss. <laughs> Because you <laughs> took your loss graciously, and I would ha- I would rather have you come back right now than LB come back. <laughs> hey, anyone want a challenge? Anyone want a challenge? Yeah, I'll go ahead and put somebody in the chat who wants to challenge me. We could do it in three weeks. I, I want to throw my Although hat I do want to come back to LB after the S eleven event because Uh-oh. I think I think something some interesting is going to happen at the when they announce that S eleven. So, so let's go to get a mic check on tech for your needs. Lewis, you there? Oh, oh wow. no, no mic, man. Nope. 
somebody tell Michael. Oh, I can tell Michael. I I don't take this serious. Yeah, Steam, y'all. When you click on Steam, y'all, you got to do a mic check. As soon as you click on Steam, y'all, you got to do a mic check. And as soon as the mic tell you, okay. Tech Ryan said he'll challenge you, Mr. Catwoman. Uh oh. Oh, oh, what the hell are we going to fight about? <laughs> um, me and him pretty much agree on a lot of shit. <laughs> Say, so let me tell you about the music for everybody that, that that's hitting it about the music. I went to funeral non copyright music and I went through a few songs. I think that fit the mood. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. This everything I did this now that was all on the fly, man. It was nothing. I didn't know, you know. I didn't know either one, you know, who was gonna win or lose. Everything was off the dome, man. I, I it was nothing planned, no nothing. It was just, you know, I, I, I was just about to bust out laughing myself when I was doing the few, but I try to keep it serious, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, nah, man. Tech needs, we still can't hear you. We can't hear you, man. Oh, hey, I would uh. I'd throw in my hat and go side by side with LB in the ring. Ooh. Hey, I, hey, look, I, I'll do a tag team with, hey, I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, let's do it. So, so fun. Mike, what, what, uh, what, uh, you got a YouTube channel? I do. Okay. It's the okay. same, it's the same name I have below there. I've just gotten started. I'm, I lost my job back in, um, January and it's been kind of a rough year and, YouTube has really helped me, and seeing you guys laugh and have fun has been great. That's good. But uh, I, you put you gotta put your link down in in the comments, man, so everybody can come check you out. Uh, this is my first time meeting you, so uh, I would definitely love to go see your channel uh, and uh, you know see you know go and show you some love. You know what I'm saying? What uh, what what you what you uh, review? Phones, tablets, computers? What? I, I do mainly phones right now. Um, I'm working on expanding. I did a a throwback video. I actually have a 2012 MacBook Air, and I did a little throwback video on that, discussing kind of like how it still kind of matches up, and it still runs as well, just as well as some of the current day MacBooks, actually. Cool. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. I just got a D8. I'm uh, going to be upgrading my iPhone 10 to whatever the new iPhone comes out next month. You know, it doesn't cost me anything to do it, and I get to trade in my old phone and get like 360 bucks for it, so Oh, that's hey, that's that's what's up. I, <laughs> I live on both sides, you know. Yeah, so your um your YouTube channel name is uh Mike Pepper Talk Tech. Michael Pepper Tech Talk, yeah. Oh, okay. I'd throw a link in there, but I'm on my phone and I don't know. I don't oh, know. You good? You good? <laughs> we'll we'll look you up. Somebody go look you up. Somebody look look them up in uh there you go right there. Awesome, thanks. There it is, right there. Got you right there. No problem, man. I mean, we we try to support. We try to do our support here, you know, and uh, go from there. You know, okay. we we all we always try to find, uh, you know, um, fresh YouTubers, man. Because I mean, we are a small community, and we just try to do our best, you know, uh, to 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 keep the community straight. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, one is all good. One of the first YouTubers I actually watched on uh, tech related stuff was actually bored at work. Oh, cool. Like way back, like years and years ago, I think when he was like first starting. So, okay. Oh, all right. So, you, you just started out, you got, uh, I see 17 videos. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. I see. I just, I just pulled you up. F see? Funny, funny enough. Um, the last ones starting about a month ago were all shot with my LG G8. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's actually what I'm on right now. Uh, LG G8, that's the truth, man. Before that, it was iPhone 10, and I would edit using iMovie, funny enough, and just throw in a still with my Michael Pepper Tech Talk logo at the beginning and some music behind it, and easy and set to go. It's not that difficult. For sure, for sure. I see, I see you, I see you. Uh, you put out some content there. That's that's what it's about, man. You got to, uh, you know, post your videos and and and, and do what you got to do, man. Uh, so it's all good, man. Definitely. Yeah, that's awesome. But tech rant, you tech rant, you stupid. <laughs> it's 
sponsored by cameras. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> mm -mm. Let's talk about these OEMs moving product out of China. Yes. Well, we know that, uh, you know, with all the tariffs and everything going on with China and the United States, a lot of companies trying to move, do, do some business elsewhere because they don't want to get hit with the tariffs and stuff. So we start to see that. We start to see companies talk about that, that they're going to, you know, I think Apple's already making that move. So, um, you know, I mean, the tariffs are pretty bad, especially when they come into to the tech field. Also, uh, you know, some other other entities that's being hit with tariffs and stuff like that. So, you know, hopefully, man, this, you know, things happen to try to get rid of the tariffs and and uh, we can get back to normal. But uh, right now, things are kind of bad. Didn't, didn't Apple just announce, though, that they were going to be moving their Mac Pro production to China out of the United States? Uh, I don't know. Take what you now? need. Yeah, can you you're good. Me? Okay. Yeah, I'm in my phone. Oh, good, good, good. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm good. I, I got ninety five percent battery. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. You look. You had your nice setup with your headphones and the mic, and all of a sudden the mic wasn't working. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get rid of this um, small blue because you get them in last snare. Yeah. <laughs> so what you thought about the what you thought about the epic fight, man? What's your thoughts? I mean. I well, this is my thought. I like the format because, like they said, it's um, educating people. And then I like what the way they do it. Everybody get their turn to talk. Not everybody be like, blah, 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 and nobody understand. So therefore, everybody get both sides. Winner or not winner, the consumers or everybody just watching is learning. Yeah, and that's so, that's, that's 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 the whole thing. About. That's yeah. what it's all about. I mean, think about it, man. We not we we just trying to give a consumer a it's something that they can come and have some fun and enjoy themselves, man, and, and go from there. So yeah, it, it was great, man. I'm I'm happy to see that we are able to do stuff like this, man. You know, even though I, I didn't really I tell you the truth, I didn't plan on being live tonight because I, I'm actually was filming a video. But man, just to just to take some time out to come chat, chat with you guys, man. That that's always my first priority, you know. Yeah, and, and man, I mean, shoot, I, I do a live stream quick, you know. So, yeah, can, yeah. can I say something, Eric? Yeah, since I'm, I've been rocking with you day one, I see your natural progression, and that's good because, like I told people, do not delete your old videos because by you seeing your old videos, you see where you come from, and everybody can see your progression. And with that saying, it's like you grow, like you're a good editor now, you're doing on um, double screen. Double personality that takes a long way to go. It's not yeah, well, easy to grind. Well, I, I had said it, it, it for everybody that didn't know. We was in some chats, and I had, mm -hmm. I had made a comment that I looked at some of my old videos, like my first ten to twenty videos, and they was they were terrible. So I was considering deleting my first like twenty or thirty videos because they were just that bad. And uh, so a lot of people is coming to me like, nah, I don't don't delete them because they stay like you saying, uh, Lewis, my progression from where I was back four years ago to where I'm at right now is totally different. Yes, it. I, when I look at when I look at my older videos, I'm like, ooh, ooh. But looking at my older videos and looking at where I'm at right now, I do see the progression and things do look a, a thousand percent better than I did back in four years ago. And also, I want to make a statement for everybody. You don't need this. Like this camera, you don't need it. You could do good with a cell phone. I see people do movies with an iPhone. It's been proven fact. You got to learn your craft. As long as you learn the in and out of your hey guys. and you master yeah. what you have. One second. I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to check out you guys. All right. Thank um, you, LB. All right. Appreciate it. Good funeral, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. getting, so getting back to the subject i got i have two videos that was done with the iphone 6 that somebody created did it but once you see that movie that i'm gonna post on the private link that we have on telegram you'll see you'll be like wow how this came from my phone but it's all up to your knowledge it's like yeah. i said there's no um, for example i learned this also through um painfully honest tech the word pro it doesn't assist in any device the pro comes from the user as long as you master your device and do what you got to do. Look, you're doing excellent work with phones that speak a lot. You're doing color grading and everything. 
See, yeah. you don't need a high-end camera. As long as you got the drive and the knowledge and the dedication, because it takes dedication. This is not one day process to learn. And therefore, that's what I told people, patient is the key. Yeah. And also the second thing that I say, value. If you're not bringing value, why should I listen to you if you're not bringing value to me? Yes. And that's all I wanted to say. And, and so for, for everybody that's in the stream, I got two more slots open. If anybody want to join the stream, hit me up, inbox me on Twitter or hit me up on um, the Instagram uh, if you want to uh, come aboard uh, and I will let you in and uh, we can talk some tech. So uh, anybody that's in the stream, Forbes Tech Review. That's my man. That's a Cajun YouTuber, man, if y'all didn't know. I'm a boy, Forbes Tech Review. A BG Tech Life. Last time I had BG Tech Life on my live stream, he was so drunk he went to sleep. He fell asleep, yeah. He fell asleep in well, my live stream. I'm like, damn, he was like this. Snoring <laughs> all. and all, too. Snoring. Hey, like, but, like, um, but real quick, Genosis, uh, to answer your question, I don't know what the topic would be with LB, but I'm pretty sure it'll be something crazy because you know how he likes to attack Samsung now. So I just, I'll just go ahead and say, you know, LB is no longer a Samsung knight, a loyalist, or whatever. He just got mm. revoked. I guess you guys could call, don't call me a knight, but you could call me a Samsung loyalist because I do got that blue. Ooh, that Best Buy blue. Clear. Ooh, yeah, uh, it's unlocked. Oh, from, straight ooh, from Samsung. Samsung. Yeah, buddy. I almost didn't have it in my hand. Actually, believe it or not, it was delivered on Thursday last week or the week before. And I came home the Friday and I never got the phone in my hands until Sunday night. Yeah. So I've actually had a full week to actually play with it. This phone is it's amazing. Yes. You know, yes. it's it's fast. The battery. Although the bat something's up with the battery. I think I should be getting a longer battery life than 21 hours in a day. Oh, you, you got the, 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 the intelligence battery life uh will start uh give you a way more battery life. You gotta give it some time. Definitely gotta give it some time for battery life. Now sp um people asking about the the who's the funeral for. Uh in the beginning of this um live stream, I did a complete funeral of LB that uh he lost, if y'all watch Mike Tech Talk YouTube channel, they did what's called Saturday Night Fight. And when he did Saturday Night Fight, uh, LB lost to Viper. Viper is now the the, uh, the the champ. And Viper beat LB, uh, a close fight, but uh, he beat LB. So uh, I, I said that whoever lost, I was going to do a funeral procession. And since LB lost, he got funeralized. So in the beginning of this live stream, if you want to see the most epic awesomeness, check it out. And so anybody that want to come aboard this live stream, uh, just hit me up on the, on the Twitter and uh, I'll, I'll put you in. What else? What else? Go I ahead. had a problem DMing you on Twitter. You might want to have them do Instagram. Twitter, for some reason, I couldn't even get to like to, I went into messages, typed in your name, and it wouldn't even show up. Oh, really? So how I fixed it? Like, I mean, if somebody wanted to follow me on on Twitter, you you hit like I in my on my about page, I got my Twitter link. Uh, but I if, could follow you. I just couldn't DM you. It was weird. Don't I have to? Hey, okay. I think with Twitter, you got to follow people back. Is that uh, the thing? Yeah, that's true. No, I think it's in your settings somewhere. It's in my settings. Oh. Well, I think you gotta follow people oh, back I'm not I'm not coming for the good. Somebody already said, Am I coming for the crown? No. Now I am just I'm just sitting on the sidelines, man. I ain't I ain't I'm, I'm not I'm not going on there. It, it get deep, man. I, I'm the tech preacher, so I mean LB L, LB couldn't beat me. I mean, I would have won either way. I Pfeiffer <laughs> couldn't beat me. Shit. I mean, you know, I mean when it comes down, I mean when when the tech preacher talk and whoo. Nah, nah, but that's why I'm staying out of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do I smell a challenge? Do I smell a challenge? You said Viper, loud and clear. Mm. Well, no challenge. Uh -uh. I, <laughs> you know, I, I'll just do the I'll do the funeral part. <laughs> but it is so entertaining. It was so fun, man. And I, I mean, we watched the whole stream. Me and had over a hundred and some people watching the stream. 
So that was great. That was just pure awesomeness. Um, I mean, it was great, man. Oh, and also one more thing. Congratulations for made it over 800. Yeah, so Mike hit yeah. over 800 subscribers. Uh, he already have his hours as far as becoming a YouTube member. He just have to hit his subscribe account. Oh, he's, he's going to get there real quick because uh, oh, yeah. this fight thing. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Note 10 Plus, Google doesn't have any info. Huh, Droid hardware info. I don't know what, what IMX camera sensors they use it, but a lot of people have been saying it's the same cameras on the S10. That's what a lot of people have been saying. It's the same cameras of the S10 on the Note 10. And I can't verify that, but for, for everybody that been doing videos and all the tech gods, they've been saying that it is the S10 sensors, the same sensors on the S10, on the Note 10. But now I did a video. Ten. Yeah, I did a video, yeah. and I mean it is fairly close, right? Except in the front camera. Uh, isn't it like 10 megapixel versus 8 megapixel? I think the megapixel count on the front camera went up on the note 10. Uh, and so the, the front facing camera on the note 10 was a lot better than the note than the note 9. I think I did the note 9, no, the S10. I don't know, man. I, I yeah, I watched a video. I think um, if you look at the S10 and the Note 10, I think the cameras are, are, are comparable. Now I've done an S10 Note 10 daytime video for all the members. Y'all probably saw that already, and they relatively close. I mean, that I, I don't see no difference. The Note 10 has a uh, deeper blacks, like the dark colors are more is more popping. Okay, um, and I want to say the white. But yeah. that might be software, though. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't the Note 10, and, or at least Note 10 Plus, use the 855 Plus sensor? Wait, or the processor? Processor? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. They didn't That's do the 855 it, yeah. Plus. I think that the Note 10 was made, like, before the 855 Plus came out, so... I mean, they, I think they had to go with those chips. I think the phones was already made because I mean, we saw demo units like was was people was getting demo units month a month or two months before the release. So yeah, we seen demo units out there already in the wild. So I don't think they had time because the the eight fifty five plus, you know, they talked about it and it was not a lot of people say well the ROG two phone got the eight fifty five plus. So I don't know. I mean, I don't think Samsung didn't want to go with that because they would have to change a lot. Like, I mean, they had to change the code. They would have to, you know, uh, redo a lot of stuff. They just can't just throw a processor, a faster processor in there without doing optimizations. Uh, they would have to do a whole lot. The phone probably would have got much delayed. The only reason I posed that question was um, the graphics like 30% graphics increase, I figured that that would improve cameras potentially. Um, yep. But I have to agree, it's probably software based. And since yeah. they've had a little bit of time to work on the note in the background and then release it, and now they'll probably push a release in the S10 series will get improved cameras too. Because as far as I know, they use the same uh, cameras. Like my G8 uses two of the same sensors, the same Sony sensors as... Yeah, what a lot of phones use. And if you notice on the G8, I think I did a video on the G8 and the S, the Note 10. I, I think I did. I don't know. I, I, I do so many videos, man. It, it's like I do a video after I drop a video, I'm on to the next. Like, so I don't. You did. It was um, it was under uh, Pavilion. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. So I did it. Um. I did it. I did it under the Pavilion. So, uh. Yeah. I mean, if you look at those cameras i mean they're very comparable very comparable i think i like it now i did a video i don't know if i'm gonna release my gimbal video tomorrow maybe wait till monday but i know i got a video coming out tomorrow uh but yes some people have been asking me to do comparison videos with the gimbals i did it y'all members i posted already um but man that 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 video the gimbal video was like mm, I think it's like 60 minutes long. It was an over hour video. I chopped wow. that video down to 24 minutes. 
that was a lot of information that I was doing in that video. I and I feel that if I'd had that video over an hour, people probably would have got upset because it's such a long video. It was so much information that I had in that video that I chopped it down to 24. I couldn't chop it no no lower than that. It was just so much information. Uh, but that was a long video. That video took me two days to make. <laughs> that video was so long, man. I ain't going to lie to you. But I, I enjoyed doing it. I so really. You know one thing? You know one thing that I learned from you is that it's not the camera. That, if you got the right office, it matters about the software. Yeah, I agree with you because um, I, if you Pro? don't, if you use like Filmic Pro, it 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 brings a different dynamic, man. I mean, you talk about you know a totally different dynamic, um, a total different dynamic uh, for uh, for a smartphone. Filmic Pro take things to the next level. That's a professional software for a smartphone. Uh, if you want to get professional shots, professional B rolls, professional footage, don't use the native camera app. I would always recommend Filmic Pro. Well, so, you know, software has been proved by Google. They can use one sensor and get some of the same and better stuff than, you know, a lot of other companies do with two and three lenses. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, our dog say, well, I didn't know gimbals was, was were that complicated. Well, what I did with the gimbal video, I try to compare three gimbals in one video and every gimbal has an, its own native app. So every gimbal has an app that does different things. Some gimbals work very good with the what they app and some gimbals don't so the dgi probably was my less favorite um and it's a great gimbal but the app going in I, then i use the galaxy s10 because people ask me don't use the galaxy note and i use the galaxy s10 and uh for some strange reason uh, uh they couldn't get the apis unlocked for the dgi app and it's it's a nightmare well, I know some of those gimbals too are um, like countersink based. So mm -hmm. if you use a heavier phone, some of them come with weights and stuff to kind of adjust that and like the uh, gyro sensors and stuff. And so you have yeah. to use their app for it to coordinate and communicate through like the Bluetooth or the hardwire connection. So you don't get out of balance and basically have a worse image than just freehanding it. Silverback, can I recommend a gimbal for newbies? Watch that video uh, if you're a member. It's already on my channel if you're a member. If you're a member, you already it's already there. Watch that video, and the, you'll see the recommendation that I have. Um, it's a, a very, relatively cheap price. Uh, let's see. Shout out to <laughs> YouTube Free. Look, two phones. He's going through some YouTube issues right now. Um, so... Yeah, not even the LG camera app. Uh, those gimbals work with LG two phones. Let me tell you something. When I film with my with my LG G8, I I use gimbals and I use Filmic Pro. And I use uh, yeah, so I use LG phones, and I know you got the LG V35. Congratulations to you. But yes, I would tell you. Uh, Filmic Pro and the gimbal, and you go get the smoothest cinematic footage that you can get from from any device. So once again, I got I got I got it wide open. Anybody that wants to come live on the stream, if y'all hit me up on social media, uh, I'll, I'll I will send you a link. Um, hey, so yeah, no easy. Uh, since uh, we're still in the middle of phone season. The Google Pixel 4. Mm, Google Pixel 4. And the iPhone 11 XR. Uh, what is it going to be? iPhone 11 R? Yeah, iPhone, iPhone 11, 11 R. Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max. So what what, what, what are your thoughts on those uh, two? Companies? Well, well, I think I think Apple probably not going to bring any thunder this year. Um, you know, Apple really probably is going to do pencil support. We don't know how they go do it, but uh, I think the the what the the I think personally, both of the phones when they come down to the design is going to be awful. I think that the Pixel 
is going to look awful like it always does every year. Uh, the iPhone is about to make a, a, a complete turnaround when it comes down to the design. That stovetop stuffing that they're going to put on the back of that phone is going to be horrendous. Uh, I think the iPhone for the first time is not going to be a Beyonce phone. I think, well, the, the Pixel 4 was never a Beyonce looking phone, but I think that the uh, the iPhone will not be a Beyonce phone this year. Um, I, I don't think so. Hey, look, here's the thing. Design, to me, is the most important thing. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you pick up a phone and it's beautiful, I mean, that that's to me, Listen, I can make any phone fast. So uh, screw the specs. I ain't worried about the specs. I'm worried about if I'm at the bar at happy hour, when I pull my phone out, my phone represents me. A beautiful, I mean, gorgeous phone. And I don't I don't put no, I put clear cases on my phone. So when I pull out my phone, my phone represents me. I mean, it's a, it, it, you know, like when you pull out the Galaxy Note, think about it, Mr. Catwoman. When you pull out the Galaxy Note 10, that motherfucker looks good. It makes you want to kiss that ass. Mwah! Right? <laughs> so, so when you pull out a Pixel, it's like a Medusa second coming. I mean, the phone is terrible looking. It's an ugly fucking phone. Let's call it how we see it. People say, well, easy. I'm going to put a case on it. I'm worried about stock Android. Man, I could get a Motorola G7 and get stock Android. You see what I'm saying? It's all about design. It's all about uniqueness. And think about this. I could put Filmic Pro on any phone and make it look good when it comes down to the cameras. So that's not even the issue. You see the what I'm saying? The ZTX on 10 Pro. Huh? The ZTX on 10 Pro, for example, has stock Android. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So when you look at that phone's Right now, it's all about the design. It's all about paying attention to details. It's all about what you're going to bring to the table. Listen, Samsung knocked it out the park with the design. Let's call it how we see it. Coming from a Note 9 to a Note 10, look at that, how beautiful that phone is. You have to say what well, Samsung really paid attention to detail. So um, can I uh, talk about this a little bit? Yeah. So... Um have you guys seen the invite for the event? Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. I speculate that the uh, kind of that glass design of the Apple and the 3D the, um, look to it is based on some rumors that have been out that are saying that they're going to be doing a single piece glass on the back. So the camera won't have that like a separate part to it. It's going to go smooth up to it. Oh, gotcha. Um. And then earlier today, I saw some leaked specs saying that it's going to be called the 11, the 11 Pro, and the 11 Max, hmm. and that they're going to be doing bilateral charging. Um, they're going to include a fast charger for the first time. And um, basically, the base level, the update to the R, will kind of be like a halfway between the R and the 10S. So you get the dual cameras but you still have the older size screen and all three models are going to get a battery bump. Well, I mean, that's to me, let's, let's okay, call it how you see it. I mean, that's incremental up. That's what they're supposed to do. You're supposed to get better battery. You're supposed to get, you know, iOS 13. You're supposed to get better internals. You're supposed to get better speakers. You're supposed to get better uh, camera optics. We all know that every year, this is, this is normal. This is what you're supposed to get every year. But what else Apple go bring to the table? Well, I mean, I think what it's makes be the you... 2020 iPhone that we're going to see a shift. I have a prediction that in 2020, the Pro iPhone will switch over like the iPad Pro and we'll have USB C. But here's the thing: we and... we, we 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 talk about this every year. We we keep giving Apple a pass, like okay, next year Apple go bring the thunder, and we hear this every year. Next year, next year, True. next year. It's like every time we give Apple a pass and say, okay, we wait, I'm going to wait for next year. And as long as I've been in YouTube, I hear that same song and dance next year, next year. What about this year? Like Apple got a whole year to innovate, to, to bring stuff to the table. They already know what Samsung will bring. Think about what Samsung done. Let's, let's, let's pay attention to Samsung for a second. Even though people might like or hate Samsung, 
Samsung have took phone. I mean, they are blowing the market up with phones right now. You got the A20, the A30, the A4. I mean, all the A series devices. I mean, they're just killing it right now for 300 to 350 to 400 dollar phones right now. That this this they just slamming the market with phones. Then they got three phones of the Galaxy S10. Well, four phones of the Galaxy S10. Three phones of the get. Wait, I'm sorry. Four phones of the Galaxy Note 10. That's eight freaking phones right there of they of they series phones. But but easy. You're also forgetting the M series and the W series. Also, that is international, which which are actually selling pretty well overseas, especially in India. I think yeah. India has the M series. And um, basically, all of Asia has the W series, which I'm really jealous of because that W series looks so hot. So Samsung but, really, really telling Apple, "Hey, bring it! I'm putting out 50 phones. What you gonna do? You see what I'm saying? Bring it!" Yeah, you know I, why? Think, I think they're going to get rid of the S line though, because with this Note 10, with the Note 10 coming out, I don't understand why would they price it where they priced it at when they have the S10. You see what I mean? Like, is the the Note 10 is basically an S10 1.5. Yeah. So, and you saw. I agree on that. I, uh, I saw. I looked at their price point, and you can get the top of the end, the Note 10 Plus 5G, all decked out for the same price as the S10 Plus 5G. Right. Mm -hmm. So I I, I want to say this, uh, Doctor Don. If uh, I see you in the stream. Uh, Hit me up on, on social media. I'll send you a link if you want to come on here and uh, chop it up with us so we can we can get a different perspective about stuff. i see you in the stream. Hit me up in my social media. I'll send you a link so you can come on there and talk talk some tech with us. Yeah, y'all go ahead. I think one of the greatest, I out there. <laughs> I think one of the greatest things something about Samsung? Samsung did this yes, year sir? with the, uh, Note 10 Plus was the PC integration where you can plug it in and use DeX on any computer. Like, oh, well, you can use Dex on Apple computers too, right? Yes, um, you can use Dex on Apple computers. Yes, that's the craziest thing yeah. ever. Yes, that that, so, that is beyond so, crazy. So for, so for everybody that don't, people be hitting me up about DM talk about it don't make sense. You don't understand how Dex work on a PC. Think about this: if you are in a hotel room and you're on a business trip and you you was doing something on your Galaxy Note. You write down notes and you're doing something on your Galaxy Note. You get back to your hotel. The hotel got shitty Wi-Fi, right? You don't want to pay for it. You're using your phone LTE, not the hotspot, people. People keep on hitting me up talking about easy. It ain't nothing but a hotspot. No, it's a difference between a hotspot and 4G LTE. The speeds is like night and day. Usually your hotspots give you like no speed. But your 4G LTE coming from your phone Gives you good speed. So what happens is when you plug your Galaxy Note up to your PC, it opens up a, a, a virtual environment. So everything you're doing on your phone all of a sudden goes on your laptop. Now you got a mouse and keyboard to work. You can get some work done. Not only that, but it's using your 4G LTE speeds, which if you got Verizon, if you got good speed, you're getting, you know, if you got the 5G bottle, now you're getting gigabit speeds on your laptop, right? The, the hotspot yeah. hot spot will not give you gigabit speeds. Let's make sure we understand that. I think people don't understand how DEX work. I've been doing DEX for a long time. And this, this for reference, I run my business using DEX. I don't even use my computer at, at work. I go do my Excel spreadsheets. I do my, and I made a video about this. If y'all watch my YouTube mm -hmm. channel. I use yep. uh, my Excel spreadsheets, Word, and, and I the internet, and I got three printers hooked up to my Dex via Wi-Fi, right? And it works tremendous. I can print. I got it, and then I use a, a a bigger monitor. I got a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I I listen, man. I got videos on my YouTube channel. Me using uh, uh oh God the Cricut machine. Right, using the cricket machines for my smartphone, cutting out teeth. Listen, I made this shirt with my smartphone. This shirt, mm -hmm. Galaxy Note 9. I didn't get this from Samsung. This is I made this. I put the Samsung logo here. Then I got easy computer solutions here. I made this shirt for my smartphone. 
how I did that. Yeah, you, Dex. Yeah, yeah, I um, I actually took my Note Nine. My wife has it now because I don't need that many phones, and you know, I might be crazy. Well, I do, but she she uses it for uh, her business line. She does uh, grocery delivery now, but um, I took that thing with a single dongle. USB-C cord plugged into it to charge it, a splitter so I could plug um, keyboard and mouse in, plug that thing up to my 4K monitor, and used an app called Shadow, which is an online virtual PC. And I had a high-end gaming PC to my computer where it has a gigabit connection on its end so I could download games or whatever at their speeds. Well, you could For also use twenty five dollars a month, right? But you could listen. You could also use Splash Top, and, yeah, and I, 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 mean, I use I mean, Right, you could also use Splash Top, which you could connect to your home PC, and you could run EXE programs straight remotely, right? Yeah, I built oh, my own wait, 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 wait. Michael, you use I, I just it just clicked what you just said. You use Shadow on Dex. I did. You need to make a video about that. <laughs> yeah, you need a video. God dang it. Because, like, I've only heard Shadow one other place. And I, I'm, if y'all don't know, I'm actually a big Star Citizen fan. Um, I'm waiting for it to get out of beta to actually get into it. But they talk about Shadow um, all the time and how you can use it on, like, any desktop, old laptop. And you'll be able to do high-end gaming on Shadow. Yeah. And, and then- they're really promoting that. And you used it on flipping Dex? I did, and then and then I, I was like, you know what? I don't want to sit anymore. I, I uh, clicked out, and I grabbed my iPad and launched it up, and just continued from there. And it's like immediate. Yes, and you wow. know what's so funny? People don't understand the power of smartphones. You think about it. They're putting all this power in the smartphone. It's not because you want to open up apps and stuff like that. It's the Samsung is doing something that that what Huawei is doing too, right? But Samsung is doing something that no other devices can do. Dex is a game changer. That not people don't understand how Dex work. Dex is a PC, people. You listen. I've run. I've I, I, I made videos about this, Louis. You could protest to this. I've made videos about yep. this. I've I've run a company off of Dex, and it runs like no other. It runs fast, efficient. I do my payroll. My Excel spreadsheets, everything from Dex. And you don't I, think I, you know I, why? I run my PC no more. Not, not when I'm at the job. I don't need it. I don't run EXE programs at work. I run, I run, you know, on the software, and I print off of three printers from a phone. You, you, you could grab a cheap LG twenty dollar um, keyboard and trackpad, Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad, a dongle, and you could be at your hotel, plug your phone into your TV. And have a computer right there. And when I bring this up, it's because a lot of people, you know, how you listen, let me tell you something. No phone is worth a thousand dollars. I agree with that. But it, at least if a phone worth a thousand dollars, give me more, even if I don't use it, right? Give me more. So if yep. I don't use it, at least I know I can use it. S Pen, Dex, you know, stuff like that. Now I criticize, I criticize the Galaxy Note for the headphone jag. Uh, in no pro mode, which, listen, here's the thing. I don't use the native camera app either way, but it's still for the average consumer that doesn't know about Filmic Pro and, and uh, you know, other uh, high-end software. They want, I believe, still believe that they ought to put pro mode back to the Galaxy Note. Now, I think in, 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 in Samsung defense saying that the reason why people don't use pro, if you go use pro mode, you're going to use a high-end software which is filming pro or different software just in the app store that does have uh pro mode right so i mean that 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 might be the case for professionals but i think that pro mode brings in a different avenue that when samsung took it away i criticized samsung for that yeah that was one of my with my note nine was um when I was on Android 8.1, they had Pro Mode, and my battery life was great. And when I updated to One UI, it's like my battery life went from 10 to 12 hours to like five or six, and they removed mm. that Pro Mode. That was a huge deal for me. Yeah, go ahead, on Lewis. You have something to say? 
No, yeah, because when I was talking about Dex, it's good for a business perspective. Let me explain why. If you're a small business owner, you don't have the revenue to spend on a large amount of computers for your work and to you get um, things going on and you can get better equipment. Therefore, you could buy simple stuff like, you know, Bluetooth monitor, everything. You don't need high end. You just buy decent ones and you could run your business and stuff like that. You don't have to spend a lot of money. There's the tools. It depends how people learn how to use them. Oh, look, <laughs> I see my boy on the street. He said, you cool easy, but Dex is not a PC replacement. All right, so, I, I, look, I agree with that. If you run the EXE programs, Dex is not a PC replacement. Uh, I say, I believe Dex is one of those type of items that if you have a, look, I got a foldable keyboard and mouse, right? Like a little foldable keyboard and a mouse that I keep it in a little bag with Dex. Uh, and I'm at the hotel. And listen, if you're in the hotel, you know how it is. Some hotels you got to pay for Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi is not that great. Your phone LTE always going to be faster in some in some essence. Look, when I went to New York, if I had a 5G phone, I would have got gigabit speeds if I had a 5G phone. If I wanted to, you know, do some video editing, upload some stuff using Dex, and yes, you can video edit on Dex. I'm not saying that Dex would replace a PC for certain scenarios for in a pinch, Dex can get work done. Like if you're not doing EXE programs, if you're not doing EXE programs, just say high-end Photoshop or Adobe Premiere, or if you're running, you know, high-end VPN services that your company wants you to run high-end vpn services okay i do understand a laptop or a computer for that but i'm talking about you know if you're in the dorm room as a college student and you need to kick out a paper right and you're in the dorm room you don't want to go to the coffee house and you got a tv right there bluetooth keyboard and mouse i mean you could type as normal and if you have a, a printer you could print it out just like that for school i think it's fantastic but I've also seen videos with the uh, HP, it was a HP dock for their phone using Dex with that. It was a laptop. You just plug it in and one cord, plug in, charges the phone, runs Dex. But here's the thing. This is what Apple needs to bring to the table. See, this, you know, screw the pen, screw all this here, iOS 13 and all that stuff like that. When do an iPhone have the capability to do what Samsung is doing for the last couple of years, right? I mean, Dex been out since the Galaxy S8. You know, we on the 10, that's been two years now that you got Dex running and then now here come Apple trying to do pencil support. Here's a problem with pencil support and I agree with, with Vipe, I, I agree with LB when he was talking about this in the stream. I mean, Apple have to have software for pencil support. You can't just say, okay, Use it as a mouse and go from screen to screen to screen and open up apps and all that stuff like that. No. When you pull out your pen on your Galaxy Note, you got software. You got Samsung Notes. You got you could do doodling, well, which is, you know, that's child's play. But you could do annotation. You can draw. You could do all kinds of things from the phone that does it very well using your S Pen. And Apple have to have software. That's the thing. You can't come out with an iPhone 11 with pencil support and say, okay, you can use the pencil to swipe back and forward and go up and down and stuff like that. Fuck that. We don't want that. What's the software? Go? What kind of software Apple going to give us? So, so um, to, to, answer, to kind of go uh, maybe answer, I think there was a question kind of in there. So what's interesting, because with iOS, you have, you know, universal app support between iPhone, iPad, and now with uh, Mac OS Catalina, there'll be the, you know, you create one app, you click, and it's made for all devices. So they already have some great apps out there like Procreate and stuff yeah. for the iPad. So all they'd have to do is make one click, and that's on iPhone with Apple Pencil support. Hmm. Okay, we got a good question there. I had to go to 16 gig ROM. How great about to 32 on my laptop in order to run <laughs> a blood cam software? Hard to believe they're putting 12 gigs of RAM in the phone. Why? 
Why are they put 12 gigs of RAM in a phone? Well, not because of OnePlus, and I'm gonna tell you why. Probably Samsung is doing it, and because we know that Apple, they only put like three or four gigs of RAM because they don't have the software. We got a couple of reasons why Apple is doing it. It's probably because of Dex, right? Because here's the thing: I'm still in a Linux. I'm still in a Linux program uh, for 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 Samsung. So we still beta testing Linux for Samsung. Now. For everybody that know how Linux work, Ubuntu and stuff like that, yeah, I'm, I'm just think to. for a second that you can run full fledged Linux in the Dex environment, right? Yeah. Which I, I made a video about that, by the way. And still have your phone running really well. So the more RAM you still have it allocated for your phone plus your Dex environment, right? So you can actually interact with your phone while Dex is working. So it's like it's it, it's pretty amazing how you can use your phone and Dex is running at the same time. And you can make phone calls, surf the web, uh, you know, open up Texas. apps. Uh -huh. Respond to Texas. Re Respond to Texas. That is crazy right there. You yeah. just plug it in and you have your little phone right there and you're on a computer and like you never have to really look at your phone. Anything about it? I don't want to. I don't want to be a Samsung fanboy on this stream. But you got to call it how you see it, right? No, nah, I'll be that. That's I'm awesome. just saying. We, we, we call it how we see it. Listen, I I right now I I use all kinds of phones, right? And I call it how I see it. Like you know, when I use my when I use my One Plus, it's a fast phone. It plays games fast. It's a very good phone. I love the One Plus Seven Pro. When I use my Razer phone, right? When I use my Razer phone, oh my God, this phone is the truth. Fuck what everybody say. I love this phone, right? So this phone is the truth. I love, when I put this phone on the ball and I got that Chroma stuff going on in the background, man, I, I like that. That's That to me is, I'm like, I, I, I'm, that's dope. Uh, when I'm pulling out my Galaxy Note, man, that Galaxy Note be blinging. I mean, that's the truth, man. So I, I am not a all-around Samsung fanboy, but I call it how we see it. Yeah, can so, I clarify something? Yeah. I mean, I mean, the RAM on the phone is not the same RAM and the computer, even though they have the same number one clarify that so people could be mistaken. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, when we talk about full-fledged PCs versus mobile, everything is always different. I mean, you got a mobile chipset. It's not like... Correct. A Pentium Intel i7 processor, folks. Let's make sure we understand that. We, we talk about mobile platform versus uh, a full-fledged PC. Now, I got some Chromebooks over there, and I got I got I have a PC that's running Windows 10 with like two, three gigs of RAM in it, and it's a nightmare, a nightmare to work on. I mean, think about it. I, I don't even know why they even release computers with three gigs of RAM trying to run Windows 10. It is a clusterfuck try to run, uh, open up any kind of apps or any kind of EXE programs with a Windows-based PC with three gigs of RAM and a Pentium, uh, a Pentium processor in it that runs slow as a sludge. Yeah, I think I think I think uh, uh, you know with, uh, Microsoft and some of these OEMs shoot themselves in the foot to try to sell. $300 computers that got Pentium processors with three gigs of RAM and then try to say, hey, I got a Windows PC. Like, no. So, Easy, what do you think about the uh, Galaxy Book S that is, I think it's already out, right? Or is it on pre order? Yeah. Uh, I think it got like an i5. I think it got an i5 with uh, 128 gigs of uh, solid, state, solid state drive for like uh, 900 bucks or something, 800 bucks. Yeah, nine ninety nine on um eighteen. Yeah. I was looking at it. Um, I thought the battery life was very interesting. But how would you use it with a Galaxy? I, you know, it's so funny. It's so funny when I look at PCs. I look at PCs like if my if my iPad run fast off my Galaxy or even my Huawei tablet run fast. I look at okay. What the PC go run? How the PC go run? Then when you start doing video editing on those ultra thin PCs, 
then that's where you run into all your problems. If you open up Photoshop, excuse me, guys, uh, and you try to do some photo editing on those PCs, that's where you run into thermal problems and throttling and um, you know all kinds of different issues with those PCs. For 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 a thousand bucks, oh shit, for a thousand bucks, um, you you're going off a of design, uh, thinness, easy to carry, light lightweight, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I I don't know. I, I I haven't played with it yet, but I can imagine it probably do very well. Now I'm just curious to see how uh how the how the S the Galaxy Book S and the Note 10 will work together. That's um, a good question because because it seems like they made it to work PC. together. Yeah, it seems like they made it to work together. Yeah, um, they somehow. Yeah, they um, did. I, um, I'm just curious on what way. So I think part of it is um the like phone to PC integration where your mm -hmm. messages will go through. And then the other part is deck support because of the um, USB C port, yeah, single cable. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Well, they, and I then got, you still have a great separate use device because it has LTE support. So this question is: Can you hook up Dex to your Xbox One? No. Um, no, you know, uh, Xbox is a totally different entity. So now nah, you can't. I mean, if you, I mean. What would be the purpose to hook up Dex to Xbox? To get your phone calls while playing uh, Fortnite. <laughs> That's true. I guess so. I guess so. I, guess I so. mean, I suppose technically you could hook your Xbox One up to a capture card on your PC and use Dex remote desktop and technically play your Xbox One oh, on yeah, your true. There you go. But you know, Sony does that too, right? If you got a PlayStation and you want to play your Sony high-end games... I mean, uh, your PlayStation high-end games on the phone, get a Sony phone. Because uh, they got the high-end integration uh, that have the PS4 app. Uh, it, it's integrated with the with the, uh, Sony phones. I've, I made a video. About, I make videos about everything, don't I? But I made a video about me playing games from my PS4 on my phone while my PS4 was, like, chilling. Uh, but I mean, it, it has some things got to be involved. We got to be on the same Wi-Fi and all that stuff like that. But um, yeah, I mean, you, you I, I mean, things can be done like that if you want to play. Now, here's the thing: when you talk about mobile gaming and Steam games, are they really closing the gap with graphics? I mean, a lot of people that's that's diehard computer gamers, they would like get on this like, no, Eric, you cannot put mobile in. in. But damn, man, when I play Call of Duty. Or if I play Asphalt 8 or Asphalt 9 on Dex, the graphics look superb. It looks oh, yeah, really yeah. good. The gameplay is very good. Well, you know, if you think about it, um, even just a 1080p screen at the average viewing distance that somebody holds their phone, which is about 12 to 14 inches from you, and the average viewing distance and average size of a TV, it's like... A 1080p phone is like a 16K TV. Oh, and snap. you have a smaller oh. screen and you're not having to output all those pixels to a larger display and you know, like processing capability and your processing that you actually have to put out becomes less um, intrusive, I guess you could say. You don't have to have something to pump all those pixels at a larger display would. I mean... You know, here's the thing. I know a lot of people is pissed off at Samsung with the Galaxy Note 10 1080p display. And I am not discounting that Samsung fucked up. But in in Samsung defense, you got to look at how the 1080p came around. Every phone that Samsung had released from the Galaxy S8 on up to the Galaxy Note was already set at 1080p. Out, out the box, it's set at 1080p. Now, only techies, which is a very small percentage of the average consumer, will go in and change it to 1440p. If the average consumer never went into their settings 
and change it from 1080p to 1440p. But why put a full, why put a 2K display on there? Now I would agree that Samsung should have put a 2K display on the Galaxy Note 10. I would agree with that. But at especially at 950 bucks. But I think when they look at the average consumer, they never went into well, when would they ever go into settings and say, oh, this 1080p sucks. I need to upgrade it to 1440p. Most of our viewing yeah. content is still only at 1080p. Well, if you if you go in on if you watch YouTube videos and if the content creator doesn't upload it to 4K or upload it to you know 2K or 1440p, you watch everything at 720p or 1080p anyway. If you watch the YouTube videos. Now, and even most, if you go to Netflix, right? Netflix at 1080p. Mm -hmm. And most uh, carriers limit your connection when you're out on mobile to 480p. 480p, right. So oh, if you got yep. a limited, so if you got mm -hmm. a limited data, if you listen, it's so crazy. People don't understand the fine print. If you got unlimited data and look at it, it it's at 480p. I know T Mobile do it, I know Sprint do it. Uh, and I'm I'm not sure. I think Verizon do it too. That when you click on YouTube or you click on something, it'll be downscaled to 480p. Now you have to upscale it to 1080p or upscale it to 1440p. But when would the average consumer ever do that? And then we you gotta wait for the buffer because they limit your they limit your they limit, yes. yes. That's and it. So oh. I know for sure that T Mobile does that. If you take a video on T Mobile. And it's at 14 4, and it's at 480p. And you do it to just say 1080p 60. You start getting buffering and stuff, right? You'd be like, wait, wait a minute, hold on. It don't fuck going up to 1440p, right? So I mean that's I'm on AT and T yeah, and I do a something? Tiny amount of plan for that very reason. Right. Because I can up I'm not throttled on my um video speeds. Right. Go ahead. But with T-Mobile, with T-Mobile, because I'm a customer of almost 13 years, you have the option to um, take off 10, um, 480p. Like in the settings, you said just pick any um, settings, and you could put it to 1080p. One effect. Right. But, but when the average consumer do that? Did we tech is we still do it, but the average consumer ain't going. Oh, I got to go to settings. I got to change it to 1080p. I got to change this. I got to change that. When do the average consumer yeah, do that? But remember, like you said before. Right. That's what I'm saying. So I think these companies, they say, I'm going to give you unlimited talk, text, and data, but we're going to give you uh, you know, everything at 480p, 480p if you want to upgrade to, to HD like Tech Love and Mama. Shout out to Tech Love and Mama. Uh, if you want to pay for HD Unlimited, you have the ability, but you have to pay a little more. Uh, oh, hey, yeah. real quick, uh, huh? Erica Walker. Yeah, Who's uh, Who? Erica Walker? Is, isn't that your daughter, oh, Erica? Yeah. Where my daughter? Oh, oh. Your daughter? yeah. Oh, she's in the hey. stream. Oh, oh, I check oh. Out. Okay. I got in the stream. Oh, right oh. <laughs> hey, hey Miss Erica, you can um, say something in the chat, but you, I love, why don't you just I, hop I on her, in real quick? I sent her, I sent her a link if she want to come through, but I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. This is my. Yeah, you remember when she debated? She got absolutely. Debate. My absolutely love of my life is my oracle and my daughter. This hey, is up? right there. Is is the most special? The the specialist per. This is special person in my life right there. See my daughter right there. Yeah, Miss Erica, you got called out, yo. Only I, I see that link. Know. Tell us if she if she uh if she sent me uh if she want to come on the stream, I send her a link. She's gonna well, remember she's what she's hey, hey, Miss Erica, channel. my hair ain't done either, and I'm on the stream. <laughs> That's why I got the bonnet on. Bonnet life. <laughs> he got it. He got a bonnet. Look, 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 Erica. Look at that. Bonnet. Show yeah. that bonnet. All the way around. <laughs> bonnet life, yo. Bonnet life. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> she, she's got good initials, too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if y'all, if y'all all the all the ladies, uh, all, all the guys in the stream. I know y'all got oracles, right? If you don't have an oracle, whatever, don't matter. Uh, check out my daughter, uh, Erica Walker. She is 
on Instagram. She is a uh, she own her own business and she does eyelashes. So get go ahead on the go in there order order. I want her I want her sold out like you know what I'm saying go ahead and order all that stuff so she can hit me up and say, Daddy, I'm sold out. And you know what I'm saying? So go ahead go on oh, all that stuff. She on Instagram. She might put her, she probably gonna put her her stuff in the uh comments and uh go ahead on the go to our webpage and uh go ahead on the buy out, you know, go ahead on you, you got to make her a mom so she could put the link. Yeah, I think at every like, tech level, mama say, you got the link. Look, she ready. She ready, yeah. So for sure, for sure. Yeah, she needs to be a mom to put the link. Yes, that's that's the same lashes that Tech Valor was wearing. Uh, yeah, she had ordered it from my daughter. So go ahead and show me some love. Go ahead and tell her to drop that link. But she dropped that link. It's going to be, she going to be like, oh, my God, Daddy, I'm so loud. Thank you. Thank y'all guys very much. Go ahead and sell out right quick. <laughs> So, uh, so easy. Uh, what mm -hmm. do you think about uh, desktop support on Android 10? Do you think? Uh, well, um, Samsung got it. I mean, uh, Android got it. Uh, Samsung's gonna um, make it so Docs will have wireless support for like Chromecast and their smart TVs and stuff. So you can just have your phone in your pocket, connect. You got to go. Yeah, you know what? I think Android don't have a choice because Samsung been doing. This type of stuff for a long time, and uh, Samsung been been beating Android to the punch. So, and and uh, we we, I think we're going to see that out of Android 10. Um, I think I think Google's still trying to they're still trying to fight for Chrome OS and trying to almost integrate that into Android, and it's dying. And I think this is their attempt at trying to kind of use that same kind of interface, but. I don't know. It's going to be a struggle. Yes. All right. So look, check this out. Right there. Go to E Alexis Co Cosmetics, um, and uh, go check it out on the Instagram. Uh, I need everybody to go do that. Everybody, go ahead on and take take a minute to look at that E Alexis Cosmetic, and uh, go and show my daughter some love. Go on and subscribe to our Instagram, and go ahead on and, and share that page to all the oracles out there. And uh, sell her out. Go on and buy all buy all her inventory. I know one of y'all go buy all her inventory. Go and buy everything she got. Tell her she, so she called me up and said, "Dad, I ain't got no more inventory." Like, all right, cool. We just re up. That's it. Go ahead on and go ahead on and do that. Oh, sure. easy. I'm gonna have my daughter on. We go have we go have a one on one, uh, one day on my live stream, guys. We go. Uh, I, I'm gonna make that a priority. A lot of people. Want to want to see that? So we go do that one day. Me and my daughter, we go come on here live stream and and uh, have us some fun. But we heard. Uh, all right, so let's get back to tech. We heard that the One Plus Seven nope. Pro will have Android Ten, very fast. Uh -huh. Like the first week of, uh, like the second week of, as uh, soon as as soon as uh, Android Ten come out, we heard that the One Plus Seven Pro will get it. They already have right. beta. I wonder is uh, in the beta program what a, right. And so is Al Can we talk about the what what about the Note 10? Is the Note 10 gonna get well you know uh, you know Samsung do 10? things a little Samsung's different? Samsung's so funky. Yeah, Samsung's so funky, man. So I don't think Samsung if you if you're waiting on you know Android 10, you have to wait for the see Samsung ain't go ain't gonna put Android 10 on the Galaxy Note 10 until after the Galaxy Note 11 come out. We do we go through this every year. So the Galaxy S11 going to get Android 10 and then the Note go get it maybe a month after that. You know how and you know how Samsung do it. Samsung ain't going to do it like, you know. I I've actually had the uh, beta 6 on my Pixel. See Pixel's got already rolling it right now. Yeah, LG on the LG G8 if you have the well you have to have the Korean model right now, but they're part of the beta program too. Yeah. Did y'all guys talk about <laughs> Apple? Who didn't order the pre-orders was still claiming a hundred and fifty dollar credit. You know what? I heard that that rumor was going out there on Twitter that people were still trying to claim the hundred fifty dollar uh, credits uh, uh, through Samsung. I think they were still giving it out. I think Samsung still giving out the hundred fifty dollar credit, e even if you bought a phone and you did like a trade in. I think Samsung still giving like the one fifty credits.
Uh, I, I switched up my tag for tonight. I can dig it for sure. Yeah, I, I did the funeral earlier today. Eric, do we talk about um, MacBook Pro, the 16 inch? Uh, no, we didn't talk about the MacBook Pro. What, 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 what Apple, what Apple got going on? Let me know. Because I heard that the rumor that the 16 is supposed to come the 16 inch, but it's gonna be the same body, but they're gonna um, put uh, less bezels. But think about it. Apple need to do that. Apple MacBooks, man, they, they got the thick ass bezels, man. They got to do something. But about if you think about it, they already had the 17 way back. Yeah. Look it's at like that. Kind three, of going backwards. $3,000? Three three, wait, 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 hold on. $3,000 for the MacBook? Man, get, get, oh, that's yeah. cheap. That's what that's I heard. I heard that the, no, the 16 is going to be model. like a single, a single skew. Perhaps uh, i nine, and basically that's going to be the. I mean, there'll be different RAM and different storages, but that's why it'll be so expensive. Man, come on! Well, I mean, they, they, don't they get that uh, um, Macintosh or whatever the cheese grater for sixty thousand dollars? Yeah, that's true. So, but when Apple, but when that, Apple that don't surprise you. Anytime oh, Apple would sell. A, a, a stand for one thousand dollars. Come on, Apple don't give yeah, a fuck. Apple rolling like you know what, y'all, y'all, no, man, y'all, y'all, pay your fare, pay your fare. They're like Apple, like man, I ain't, I'm, I'm selling a stand for one thousand dollars. Y'all think I'm tripping about prices, man? Apple, that right there tell you Apple don't give a damn about prices. They are selling a thousand dollar stand. They don't care about prices. That's why they sell a MacBook for three thousand dollars. They don't care. An i nine. Think about it. you could get an i nine Windows laptop for cheap. The uh, uh, the unreleased yet, um, but it's a Asus ROG. It's called the Mothership. They're gonna only do like six hundred and fifty of them, and I heard that's gonna be three thousand dollars. And that's a custom, like, one-off, basically, limited edition. And that's going to have the i9, detachable keyboard, some crazy specs. Right. Gaming laptop, around $1,700. You're right. True. True. I mean, true. Think, think about this. For $2,000, just say you had $2,000. I mean, you could get a gaming laptop maxed out at 64 gigs of, of, of RAM, i9 processor, you know, damn near 4K display. I mean, God, all the bells and whistles, man. I mean, you can have a high spec out computer for two thousand dollars with no problem, no problem. I I built a uh, I built my computer. Um, I put a AMD 2700X, um, RTX 2070, 32 gigs of RAM. Basically, all decked out, top end of what you could get at the time. The only thing I could have gone higher was a 2080 graphics card. And it was $1,600 to build that thing. Yeah. I mean, and that thing's beast. I can play. Do you overclock it? Um, I actually don't even run overclocks. They don't need, they actually are talking about, basically, I actually get higher speeds just by letting it do it. Oh, okay. I uh, went in there to do it, and the thermals are awful. Um, the software itself actually gave me better performance um, on its own. I my scores went down when I went to overclock, actually. So, yeah, and you know what? Uh, two phones make a, a good point here. It's crazy now that we have phones with twelve gigs of RAM. Remember, we used to clown the OnePlus 5 or OnePlus. I think that they, they, remember when OnePlus came out with a limited edition device and it came out with like eight gigs of RAM and everybody was like, why what eight gigs of RAM? I remember this like I remember when when OnePlus put eight gigs of RAM in the phone and everybody was like clowning like why we it's no use for eight gigs of RAM. Now, let's fast forward it. A year later, now we had devices with 12 gigs of RAM in it. And guess what? This is not going to stop people. Come next year, you're going to see 16 gigs of RAM and more and more. Now, what they do with 16 gigs of RAM, I have no idea. 
What OnePlus do with 12 gigs of RAM in their phone? I have no idea. They don't have DeX. They don't have wireless charging. They don't have none of that, but they put 12 gigs of RAM in the phone. I, I So, yeah. no, I don't know. I don't know what they do with 12 gigs of RAM. You yeah, know, watch put, out for OnePlus they, because they're, um, their prices are going up. Of course. Every, every model, the price is going up. Albert, you was on your channel earlier this year yeah. saying that OnePlus cannot sustain the cheapness of their phones the way they so, are. And every year they've gone up. A little by little. So, I think the next phone is coming out at like eight hundred and fifty dollars next month. What I what I think is interesting is so the one plus six T had the McLaren edition, which was yeah. the twelve gigs of RAM and thirty watt charger. Mm -hmm. And that was like a hundred and twenty dollars more to go to that model. Right. So which was no, no brainer at that point. If you mm -hmm. consider the seven pro is actually not that much more expensive, considering it went up by a hundred and fifty and has that same bump up. So basically what they did is they gave you the same specs from the McLaren edition just on the regular version. And you know what? Here's the thing. I think with the McLaren edition, they had the 845, 12 gigs of RAM with a beautiful display. Of, listen, that was a one-of-a-kind device. I mean, that device gave you a different texture. It gives you all the bells. And if you go back and look at what Samsung did, the last Samsung device that was a limited edition was the Batman version of the Galaxy S7. If y'all remember that, the Batman version of the Galaxy S7, oh, yeah. they're still selling that phone for about $1,000 right now. Uh, but yeah, Samsung came up with the bat with they give you a Batman emblem and all that stuff like that. I mean, listen, they all, those are collectibles, man. And I think the McLaren edition of the OnePlus 6T was, is an awesome, it's an awesome purchase, man. I mean, the phone was like 600 bucks. You get, the, the 845, which is a great processor, you get 12 gigs of RAM, you get a beautiful design, and you get all the McLaren edition bells and whistles in the box. Yeah, I agree. You know? Yeah, I have the basic OnePlus 6T, the 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage oh, model. Good. And that thing, I got it on T-Mobile, paid it out right got it unlocked and that thing in a lot of ways like i did some tests of like launching apps compared next to my g8 and that thing runs smooth still yeah one generation back processor and that thing still runs i mean people complain it's got that water drop notch or whatever it's like well most phones either have that or the huge notch and i would rather have that than a camera that could break yeah, and I, I see. Another phone. Do you remember this phone? Whoa, whoa, well, hold on. Wait, what is that? What is that? Turn that back. Samsung, Ga Samsung Galaxy um, S7. Ooh, and I want this. I want this phone. It came from UK on Super Saf. I want. I got it since day one, and it's still working like a champ. Sweet. Only reason I got it back because I bought the Galaxy S10e for my mom, so I got this back. That's a back of Android phone, and I'm going to root it. For sure? Yes. It's wow. working. Nothing's broken. Body life is okay. Yes. I mean, look, here's the thing about phones, people. I think up to the Galaxy S7 on up to now, I think we can get good performance out of a lot of phones, man. Look what Motorola is doing. Man, you can't. Motorola has a, a a G7, G7 power, G7 play that works fantastic. You could play all kinds of games on it. It got pretty decent cameras. Battery life has been awesome on it. I mean, for two hundred bucks, two hundred. Yeah, you could, bucks, man. You you could get, get the G7 fantastic. this past weekend. You could get the G7 this past weekend um, for 149 through Google Fi if you got like one month of service with it. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Moto G7 150. And I, look, I roll on my Moto G7 all the time. I got my Moto G7 on Sprint, and it, it's a fantastic. I sit up there with my Moto G7. It's so light and it runs so good. And I keep questioning myself, like. If you take away the Moto G7, the work, if you didn't think that this, this was a Moto G7, I promise you, 
you would think that this is a flagship. Moto Z3, 199. Now the Z3 got the uh the uh let's see, don't they have the um the 600 series processor in it? The 625, 635 or something in it. Uh 199. Fantastic phones, man. Yeah, I had the Z3 Play. I got it on Amazon a while back and uh got the speaker mod with it. I tried the projector yeah. mod, I ended up sending that back, but I actually ended up um, trading that phone for, towards a car. So, yeah, y'all do me a favor. Y'all gonna talk to me when you say I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, oh, snap. Well, this is different. Oh, yeah. Hey, hold on. <clears throat> yeah, so, so I had this phone since day one. So, so I'm, you know, I got it because I wanted to give away from Super SAS. So it came from UK. So it's working fine. The battery is, is not that bad because my mama had it. So she did basic stuff with it. So therefore, I decided to get it back. Like I said earlier, about the Edge 10 e for her. So now I'm going to go back and start relearning the rules of rooting because, you know, I'm a little rusty on that. See, the S7, I had an S7. I only had it for like four months. Um, but I'm not a techie like you guys, but I hated that phone. My, my I hated that phone thing. so much because I don't know. It's probably because of the size or whatnot. I was so, cause I had an, I went from a note three to a S seven and I was actually waiting for the note seven, but my note three fell into, um, it fell into a, um, water trap, um, at work. Wow. So it got water and gasoline damage. Um, actually, the Note 3 still, it'll power on now, but like it, I had to get something real quick. So I got the S7, but I, I just didn't like that phone. That phone drove me nuts. I think it was because of the size, because I was so used to a bigger phone than such a small phone. So I don't know. My first Samsung phone was the S3. I rooted that thing back in the day, and that thing was awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, the S, we say the S3, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to go get my uh Moto G7, man. If you look at this phone, right, and you you would never think that this phone cost 200 bucks. I mean, this phone yeah. 200 bucks and it got fingerprint scanner, works good. I mean, this fucking fingerprint scanner works very good, very fast. 200 bucks, good premium smartphone. It runs very well, no problems. I mean, it runs fast, um, and it's a good phone. So, it's I, 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 it's just one of those things that you, you look at a phone like a Motorola phone with a 1080p display, 1080p, 1080p display, same this the the same resolution as a Galaxy Note. You know what I'm saying? For 200 bucks, and you say, you know, damn, this is a good phone. It is. It is a good phone. Some people, <laughs> there we go. Uh, see, most people don't realize that uh, it's all the phone they really need. Yes, yes, right there. <laughs> see, I'm going to order that. Look, I'll tell you, it's a good phone, man. I, I got it in a clear case. If you listen, I love clear cases, right? I like to show the beauty of the booty. So you can't hide. You know, when you got a phone like a Motorola and then look, Motorola got that shake for that flashlight, right? Ah, oh, that's dope, right? And uh, you twist, and then all of a sudden the camera open, right? So I'm twisting the camera open, twist again, front facing camera. Let me see if I could, you could twist. All right, they got a rear camera, twist again, rear. That's what I'm saying. Rear, you twist for the front facing camera, you twist for the rear camera, you chop for the lights. And stuff like that, yeah, it's it's dope. Mm -hmm. Now the cameras ain't gonna be like the win all be all. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, the cameras ain't gonna be the win all be all. But when they come down to speed, yeah, it's it's dope. And it's running pie, pumpkin pie. It's running pumpkin pie on oh, it. Wow. Phone running pumpkin pie. Yeah. I miss those motor gestures. Yeah, the motor gestures are champ, dog. 
I'd be curious to see how that 5G mod works out with the Z3. Yeah, well, I, I got the Z3 and I'm waiting on a, I'm waiting on that mod uh, to, to so that I can send me the mod so I can do the full G on, uh, which is dumb. I don't, I don't know why they did that, but you know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe isn't wasn't the Z3 and the Z3 Play actually like the thinnest phone in the world? The yeah, it's, it, they are thin. The Z phones are thin. Now the um the G phones is not that thin, but the Z phones are very thin. Yeah, you the flash the flashlight chop. Yeah, man, that flashlight chop is the truth, man. Yeah, it comes in handy. I mean, you're in a sticky situation, you know what I'm saying? And you just chop your phone and yeah, it is It is a nice, it's it's nice, man. Motorola always had those features. Um, you know, it's just a pretty good phone, man. You know, when you, you think about it, everybody's always hooked on flagship Samsung, Apple, Samsung, Apple. And then you say, you know what? I got a Moto G7. It does the same thing. When I'm posting photos on social media, it get compressed, right? And it comes out fantastic on the phone like this. <laughs> yes. I don't think we would uh, be paying over $1,000 for a phone. But here we got $2,000. It's crazy. But hey. As the time goes on, things will change. Somebody will buy them. Yeah, one thousand dollar phone. Here's the thing: people believe that you have to spend one thousand dollars on the phone to be a boss. You know, big ballers. Oh, I got I, man. Look, I, I just spent two thousand dollars on the Galaxy Fold, dog. You know, people believe people have that 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 way of saying that in order to be the big dogs. You got to spend two thousand dollars on a phone. I disagree with it, man. I disagree with it. Like, you don't have to be a, a big dog. And I've showed this. Like, I remember a long time ago, Lewis. You might know about this. Remember the Honor Eight? How beautiful, oh, yeah, that was beautiful. Honor 8 was. Blue. That blue Honor Eight, and that son oh. bitch had the best cameras I had at the time. I mean, that camera was fantastic. And that phone cost two hundred bucks. And you could get the Honor 8 right now for like a hundred bucks. But that phone that was, was so good. Yeah, Woo! it was a good phone. And it goes to show you a hundred bucks. The phone was the best phone, the, the beautiful phone that I had at the time. And that phone was like 200 bucks. But people say, well, Ease is not a flagship. And I tell people all the time, you know, when I hold phones in my hand, I've got 845 processor. I got a, a 630 processor as my daily driver. People be thinking you tripping. Why you ain't got a flagship? Because these phones are good, people. That's why I be telling people, man, I, I'm rolling around with a motor. Now, nah, don't get me wrong when I'm G'd up, ready to go. Yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a go to OnePlus Pro or, or, you know, the Galaxy Note. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but it, uh, my daily routine. I'm going, you know, with phones that work for you. Yeah, but you know what it is, Eric? Uh -huh. It's that people. Great, I'm listening. Yeah, it's just that people, you know, they're quick to judge, but you haven't tried a phone. You can't say it sucks. They're just basing on like, oh, flagship, that's all I know. No, try everything before. It's based off of money, man. Before. They believe that if you can't buy a flagship phone, and I talked about this on my podcast, and it pisses me off. I talked about this on my live stream, that people believe that if you don't have a flagship phone in your pocket, that you ain't shit. I disagree with that. I Listen, the smart people, smart people that got money in their pocket buy uh, a good phone at a relatively cheap price and keep it moving. Only, peop only, only people that believe that they rich will brag on how rich... Listen, when do you ever heard of a rich person brag on how much money they got besides a rapper? And nobody don't... Rich people don't ever brag on money because, I mean, they, they all straight. But people... You know, like in these chats and, 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 and you know, on these uh, Twitter and all that stuff, 
you know, they, they go off on people because if a person say, you know what, I'm not buying such and such. For, I'm not going to get a Galaxy Note because it's overpriced. I'm going to buy the Galaxy S9. I'm going to get it for 300 bucks. And the first thing people attack people like that, knowing that not so long ago, the Galaxy S9 Plus was at the $1,000 price point. But now today you could get it for 300 bucks. So people believe that you broke, that you sad, that you this or you that because you can't afford it. It's not that you can't afford it. You smart. You know, I keep I talk about this as a tech preacher. I talk about this, man. The smart person always take care of their family first, then buy a fucking phone. It's crazy. Yeah, as a me. as a matter of fact, um, you guys will be shocked about this, but there's over eleven million millionaires with a net worth of a million dollars in the United but States. You right never now. know. You never but know. But you will never honestly know. And another thing is on phones. A lot of these people, when they if they do buy brand new, guarantee that keep they'll keep a phone for three years. If they're going to buy it brand new, if they're one of those that will buy phones every single year, they'll they'll go back a year before and buy the cheap stuff. You um, know what? I I respect people. I respect people that would say easy. I'm not buying a Galaxy Note Nine. The thing cost twelve hundred dollars. That's crazy. I respect that. I respect that. I respect a person that say, you know what? I'd rather spend twelve hundred dollars catching up on my bills, maybe buying something for the Oracle, or maybe doing something for my house, maybe getting that eighty-five inch TV. You know what I'm saying? So I could watch my football games and, and something for my house, or catching up on my bills, or look maybe buying my children some new outfits for twelve hundred dollars than buying a phone. I respect people like that. I respect people that say, you know what, easy? I take care of my family, especially when we got a hurricane that's coming. You know what I'm saying? Say, you know what? I'm not gonna buy this phone. I got twelve hundred dollars. I'm gonna save this money, buying the chance I got to evacuate my family from Florida, right? And, and I got money that you know what's gonna happen when you get into the hotel. They go price gouge you, right? You know you go get pay two, three hundred dollars a night. At least you got twelve, thirteen hundred dollars in your pocket. Say, you know what? If I would have bought the Galaxy Note ten, I'd be broke right now. But I could take care of my family. You see what I'm saying? But you know what's the saddest thing? I see people. Great, I'm listening. Yeah, I see people that actually I know like two or three people took a loan just to get the Galaxy nine, and now they're trying to get the ten. I mean, that's stupid. Well, I, so here's the thing. Somebody put a comment. Who cares? Let's talk about phones. We all talking about phones. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Pricing is part we of all it. talking about phones. We talk about pricing the phones. And listen, man, we all talking about phones. I mean, I, I don't I don't understand the comment. Listen, if you are new to the YouTube channel, we debating about phones. This is all we yeah. talking about is phones. This is the complete debate. So we we are talking about phones. <laughs> so yeah, my wife you know and I, go ahead. My wife and I had been on Verizon and we switched over to AT&T and when we did that, I had a Note 8, she had the LG G6. We traded them in, they gave us 650 for each of those phones. Whoa. And they had a buy one get one on the iPhone at the time. So I got oh, the 256 that. iPhone X and she got her 64 gig iPhone 10 basically for free. Yeah, it's on monthly payments, but that's what we could afford. But think about that $1,300 towards $1,150 phone. We were able to walk out the door with cases in our phones and they paid yeah. us for it basically. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, look, he said he just came in. Y'all talk about rich people. Yeah, no, we, we was making the, a distinctive difference between rich people that buy product, but don't tell you about that they're being rich, but we all talking about phones. So look, yeah. I, 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 listen, welcome to the show. I'm Eric, I'm the tech preacher. Uh, we, we, we go dig deep about product. My whole YouTube channel is about the average consumer. Uh, and I buy all the phones, or I get the phones for review and I review them. Uh, and, uh, but I, 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 I but, even even though I get all the phones on my YouTube channel, my plan of thought is about the average consumer. It's not about people that say, you know what, if you want to pay to play, 
you got to buy the latest and greatest. And I disagree with that. Even though I got all the phones, I got a hundred phones. I got all the phones and I, I, I still make videos about the average consumer. And I will continue to make videos about the average consumer because I believe that the average consumer is the, is the perfect person that need to know, that need to get the information about what we what, what technology is. So that's how my YouTube channel is designed. Hey, you know what, New F, you seem to be talking a lot. You know, I don't know, easy, it's up to you, but you might want to shoot him a link because he seems to want to dictate. Let's talk about some budget. All right, so, yeah. I mean, listen, a new FN show, 3031, hit me up in my DM or uh, on Twitter. I will send you a link so we could talk about the Moto G7 and the A50. I got videos on all these phones you're talking about. Hit me up in my DM. I will send you a link. Come on my show right now and let's discuss it. Let's have some fun. Hit me up in my DM, Easy Computer Solutions, DJ Easy E, or hit me up at Easy Computers. I'll go to my about page and uh, hit the link and hit me up, and I will invite you to my show. Yes, I exactly. focus on value for the average consumer. Listen, here's the thing: let me buy all the high end phones, so I could I could show y'all, let y'all guys see how. The phones are compared to the phone that you got in your pocket. I Listen, no matter what, I'm going to get the phone. So I get the phones because I believe that my YouTube channel is based off of product, right? Product reviews. So I'm going to get the phone. Let me, I'm going to review the phone for you. And I'm going to give you how many videos have I made about different phones. I make video after, I go detail at the detail of the detail about videos, about phones and tablets and computers. I do that uh, just so y'all guys can get all the information. Uh, let's see. I have a yes. question. Yes. My question is that, I mean, do we have um, contracts today? Because if you're in a payment plan, that's like a contract. If you get out of it, then you get charged. So the question, do we still have- Absolutely. Yes. Don't let the carriers fool you about device payment plans is no contracts and all that. That is bullshit. Straight up. Listen, if you have to pay for a phone for two years, that's a contract. Yep, no matter how they word it, no matter how they sweep it under the rug. If you pay, think about this. at t is doing 30 months. That, it, let me tell you something, people. Don't never get into a 30-month plan. 30 months, that's two and a half years. You know how many phones go come out in 30 months? You paying oh. for a phone. It, it, it's so funny. If you got the Galaxy 4, remember when the Galaxy 4 came out, they were trying to sell us Galaxy 4 for about 60, 70 bucks a month? Just think oh, yeah. about it. On 30 months, you got a Galaxy 4 in the middle of the year about time your Galaxy Fold is finished, paid off, the Galaxy Fold 3 will be out. And your phone will be the laughing stock. Who, got, who the fuck got that old ass phone? Galaxy Fold? Is that phone still existing? In the tech world, the Galaxy Fold is already done. You know what I'm saying? Like, 855, in four months, we got CES coming out. The 865 processor with all new phones go hit in January. So, I mean, the phones that you got in your pocket right now is irrelevant come January. Yeah, installment plans is worse than uh, contracts. Yeah, because you got to pay for the phone. And now they're doing leasing. Lease. You will lease a phone. You don't even own a phone. Well, wait, who does that? Who pay for a phone for two years and got to give it back? That, that, that's crazy. Even when you're on a payment plan, to get out of the payment plan, you have to pay at least one year. No, to upgrade to a new phone, you have to pay at least one year. So most of these payment plans are set up to where you pay like $500 on a phone. You then you upgrade to the next money. phone. Yeah, then you upgrade to the next phone, and it's like you still it's unbelievable. You, you pay for a phone for it's two marketing years, strategy. a 12 months, 
and you got to give your phone back. And fuck you. So okay, what happened to the six hundred dollars I just invested in the phone? What that just goes away? No, you just you just gave the carrier six hundred dollars of free money. They are gonna take mm-hmm. your phone, refurbish it, and need to resell it, or they go use it for what they what they call that uh, when you got insurance and all that stuff. Oh, what well, um claim? They go they go use claim it for insurance. yeah or something like that. But people do it. People lease phones. The, I don't. People do it. People, you just spent four or five hundred dollars on the phone. You turn it in, like like you ain't. I mean, you turn in a phone that you didn't invest in. It's like you going. It's like you buying a house. You in the house for twenty years. You leasing the house. Are you paying rent? Right. You pay rent for twenty. Think about it. You got people that pay rent for 20, 30 years. That's a you didn't bought that house three times. Mm-hmm. And all you had to do is buy. Also, also, don't forget that the phone got to be certain mid condition because oh, if it's in bad condition, they won't yeah. take it. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You guess what? If that phone all broken up, you done. Yeah. So, so if you uh, if you go like to Sprint and got a phone and you lease that phone for like thirty bucks a month. And you did that for 10 years. Think about that. <laughs> 120 years. Yeah. You're it's... talking. You're talking. You could buy. Like. Well, I'm going to tell you what happened. The, the, the carriers got the average consumer by the nutsack. Let's be honest. You walk into an AT&T Verizon and Sprint. I wanted the new iPhone. Sure, you could get the new iPhone with no money down. You could walk right out of the door with no no money down, but you're on the lease. You pay us about $40, $47 a month. You're good to go. So you get a new phone. Walk out the door. You ain't got to pay a penny, but you don't own that phone. That's the whole thing. Like you walk out of the door, you walk out of ATT, Verizon, the Sprint. And you get it with no money down, and you walk out. That sounds like a dealership, don't it? You walk walk out there with no money down, and you walk you walk out there with a brand new car. And that that's the whole thing. So you walk out of the you walk out of there with a brand new phone with no money down, and you just signed the lease. You don't own that phone. Yeah, yeah, that's the rental. My wife and I only did what we did because, like I said, you got the one free. And then the thing is, when our uh, phones are paid off next month, we'll own them and we're going to turn around and sell them and probably get half the value of a new phone, if not more, between the two. And they'll have buy one, get one again. And that's just how we can afford it. And that's, you know, but at least I'm getting some value for the phone. I own it. I could keep it and then just, you know, not be paying any more installments if I wanted, but that's you know I we couldn't shell out twenty five hundred dollars in phones at once. Yeah, big oh, dog. Man. Hold on, I want to highlight my boy, big dog, big dog. I seen your link. If you want to come on the show and give us your thoughts about phones, big dog got some strong thoughts about phones, and uh, I see him all in the chats. We hit him up. He buy all the phones. He do his thing. I will. I will put a. I will put a special link out for Big Dog. Big Dog, come on in, man. Get your drink on. Come on in and uh, just talk about phones. Hit me up. They say uh, T-Mobile charged the the way Carrie did the contracts. They basically ruined it with installments for the consumers. Yes, it's a genius move. Because here's the thing: what T-Mobile says. We end the contracts. Remember how they, that that was their thing. We end the contracts, but they do device payment plans. What's the difference between the device payment plan and the contract? You still obligated to that phone, either way. Yeah, they just flip flopped it. Instead of paying for service before and being in a contract and getting your phone subsidized, now you're on a contract for your phone and you got to pay that off. And either way, you're you know you're paying that plus. You're paying your, um, not only are you paying that, but like you're paying 
twenty dollars a month per line for access fee. Yeah, you gotta pay for. And you know what's just so funny that you do have to pay for line access fees, and all carriers vary. Whether or not it's gonna be forty bucks, fifty bucks, sixty bucks per line, then you have to pay for the device itself. That's why bills are so high, people. You get. You got to pay for line access fee with Sprint, whatever, 60, 70, 80 bucks per line. Uh, then you have to pay for the device itself, whether that's going to be 20, 30, 40 dollars a month. Plus, you got to pay FCC fees and everything in between. You got to pay Trump Charges. fees, you know. Yeah. It's crazy. But like, you can pay it faster. Well, of course. Right. And I encourage that. I talk, I, we talk about the cafe method, remember? We yeah, talk about the I cafe. Pay it off early. Yeah, I try to pay in five months. Yeah. Uh, All um, right. Fortunately enough, after the uh, after we got our Note eight, um, yeah. I had vowed. What was it? The year before, I had vowed never to put a phone on a payment plan ever again. So, all these phones that you see Tech Valor and me have. Me and Miss Catwoman, we bought them cash money. Nothing's on a payment plan anymore. Not even a credit card. Like we you know, plan ahead. Like this Note 10 I got. This was in this was in the works since last year. I planned for it ahead. It's scheduled. Um, you know what's so funny, Mr. Catwoman? We haven't saw no grand interest of Miss Catwoman. No what? We never saw the. We never saw your wife tonight. She used to come let's scratch uh, splash the party. Oh, yeah, she's here somewhere. She might be sleeping now. I don't know. Oh, I, she she's was in the comments her. earlier. Yeah, she was in the comments, yeah. But, like, yeah. the, what was this? I think this is the L, oh, the V40. V40, yeah. You know, all, all this was, not to, like, brag or anything like that, but these were all planned. Like, right. That's, that's from, what you had to out from last year, you know. Exactly. That's right. a keyword plan. You, anybody could... For any phone, if you put money instead of going out to eat or doing stuff like that, just save it. Yeah. Hey, so let me ask y'all a question. Who all in Florida? You in Florida, huh, Mr. Catwoman? Yeah, yeah. We're down. Y'all get Florida. ready for the hurricane, man. Not really. This this yeah, storm will be about Tuesday. I don't know what's happening with this storm. I know it's supposed to be um, turning, but shit, I wouldn't rely on that. They claiming that that that, that tornado, I mean that hurricane, go come straight to y'all and go uh, all of a sudden go up north without hitting y'all. Yeah, that was thirty six hours ago, and every day the tracks move like five hundred miles more. Yeah, east I, 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 like, I don't know I, what's going I, on. I don't know if that hurricane go take a dramatic turn up like that, man. That's the same thing they said about Katrina, man, way back in the day. They said Katrina was supposed to turn and all that. All of a sudden, Katrina hit, you know, southeast Louisiana. Shit. Nah, but um, where we're at, it's not that bad. I've lived in this area, like, practically all my life. And okay. we've never had no more than maybe a category, maybe a category two hurricane. But most okay. of the time, it's a tropical storm by it hits here. So, like, it'll hit, like, say, Miami. At a cat five, by the time it moves and comes up here, it should be a cat one. Um, but that's just the way it is. Even back in um 2004, when all those hurricanes hit hit us, a four within a two week time period. You know what I mean? Oh, by the time it hit us, it was just basically rain and wind, nothing crazy. You're not in but Miami. Like coast, then, huh? coast is something special though. You you're not in Miami or anything, huh? Oh no 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 no. We're, we're just outside Orlando. So we're okay. in the middle, literally in the middle of the state. Um, so anything that comes, that hits the coast hard, it'll be like a baby by the time it gets to us. So Okay. But that, you know, the way it is for us. I know you guys is different because when that storm hits, it, it Oh, hits. man, it fucks shit up down there, man. We I roll out, man. We got to go. Uh, we go. We go on a higher ground, man. <laughs> we don't mess around with hurricane down here, man. We, you know, we oh, like, no. you know. As soon as it hit the Gulf, look, we tell the uncle, look, pack up, pack your shit. We got to go. Yeah, Very we got to go. The worst storm that, that I heard is Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Rico got slammed, man. Yeah, because my niece was there. She was telling me, calling me, crying. And, she, and then in the middle of the storm, the phone call stopped, and I couldn't hear her voice. I went crazy. Jose, man, be safe, man. He in Miami. Oof. Be safe. 
Oh man, oh, be safe, man. I, I might, I mean, if the hurricane come, I mean, I might do a large live stream and have some of y'all guys on and we just discuss some stuff and make sure everybody's safe, man. You know, if everybody gotta be safe, man. Shit. I you know, I, I remember having a live stream and, and uh we had all kinds of stuff going on and uh it, it, it's just one of those things man we we just want everybody to be safe man we we be on there talk about tech and all that stuff like that but at the end of the day man it's you know it's about making sure your family is safe you know and if you're in my huh where are you located i'm uh, i'm in louisiana okay yeah and I'm, I'm concerned too because anything that hit the golf is so the water's so hot that things turn into cat four cat five easy because it's so it, the, the Gulf is so hot, so uh, you know we we get concerned. As soon as we we watching this storm too, because a lot of people saying that it's gonna go straight up north. But man, the way they got it going, it, the way they got it turning, it's unbelievable. Like it's not gonna, it's like it's gonna go straight up. And you know, if you follow the way storms do, it don't never follow what they say sometimes. So you know, hopefully it goes up, but. You know, we have to just be prepared, man. Oh, yeah, Silverback, by the way, I'm, I'm in, in Boston, uh, Central Florida, just to let you know. I just saw your oh. question. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, uh, I'm in Massachusetts, Boston. Okay. Yeah, we, we have to just be at, at and stuff like that. I mean, shit. I mean, I know Florida get hit a lot with hurricanes and stuff like that, man. So, shit. But um, I was I was actually easy. I was just north of you just this morning, um, because uh I was in Houston. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I was in Houston this. Was it this morning? Yeah, early this morning, about two, about two o'clock this morning. I was in Houston, and I drove all the way to um Mobile, Alabama, and okay. um, I, they already got um the power the line guys. On the roads, um, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to stage somewhere in Alabama or maybe Pensacola waiting for the storm to pass so they could come on in real quick. Because every storm now, every time I drive now and there's a storm in Florida or the Carolinas or stuff like that, you'll just see the line guys coming from everywhere, from like Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Indiana, all that stuff. They'll come to a staging area and they'll sit, set up shop for a couple of days, wait for the storm to pass and then come in fix everything up and get out, you know, real quick. It's not like how it was 20 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, man, we'd be out of power for like three, four days. And that was good. Like now, if we're out of power, it might be 12 hours. Yeah. Damn. If we're out of power here in Florida, which is really, um, it comes to show you the communication um, that goes on between power companies and uh, silver services and stuff like that. That's evolved to now, even though it probably should have been like this. 30 years ago, but I you know uh, they mobilized pretty quick. Even um like when winter storms hit, bad winter storms, I, I see those power line guys all the time staging in like two, three states over, waiting for the storm to pass over and head in, do their thing and come back out. You know. So silver services and power companies and stuff like that, they've actually they've really stepped up their game. And it's probably because of technology too. So, so yeah, nothing really too much to worry about. You just got to worry about the idiots that like to go out in the middle of a storm for what, you know, you know, just follow the warnings, you know, stay yep. inside. It, it, it really passes over pretty quick. It's not, it's not that, well, it's serious, but it's not that serious for you to be out in the middle of the nonsense. You, though. You, you, you know? got something to say, Tech? Oh, no. I was just thinking what he's saying. Yeah, but it's true. Technology has evolved a lot. We're in a great place. Uh, nowadays, compared to years back, we ten times better. We have so much power in our hands. Look, the, the phone is a PC mini computer in our pocket. With that, look, with a perfect example. I made three hundred dollars in one hour just by fixing a picture. In my phone, I just use um, editing software. The person liked it. The person printed, not big, but size medium and they use it for the wedding that was happy. Oh, wow. You can you can't sit there and say I can't make money. I don't have money. We got so much tools with this. Even with this S7 you could do a lot. So there's no excuse. Yeah. 
I, I mean, at the end of the day, man, I think we do have PCs in our pockets. And, you know, we, we expect a lot from these companies that sell us phones and uh, stuff like that. But we look, we getting past the hours of the weave hours in the morning. We got to get on out of here. Look, uh, I didn't need, I didn't expect this stream today. I just want y'all to know, but I did this stream anyway. Uh, I was working on a, a video, but I guess I'll have to finish it tomorrow. No big deal. Uh, I just want to give a huge shout out to y'all guys that come on the stream and everybody that watch this, uh, this channel, man. And, uh, you know, I, I hope much success out of everybody, uh, especially y'all guys, take for your knees and, and tech talk. I mean, I, 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 I wish much success out of y'all. And uh, man, I like to do these open forums, man. This is like, Thank you, anybody, for the you know, let, I, I just like that, man. I like to let every, anybody come on and, and let people just, have fun, man. And, and I, you know, it don't matter if I had whatever amount of subscribers. That's why I keep telling people, people believe that once you get into a certain subscribers, I'm going to change. I haven't changed yet. So, I mean, I haven't changed yet, man. I always been true to the game, man. And I, I believe the smaller community is where it's at, man. I have so much fun with the smaller community, even with the, I, I, I don't know how many subscribers I got, like 36, 35. I don't know. 35,000. 35,589. 30. Oh, see, you know, all the way to the T. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even know, but you know, I really do appreciate that, man. Uh, I work hard, man. I try to post good videos for everybody, and, and, and my progress is, is based off of y'all feedback. Like, my progress is based off of y'all feedback. Y'all tell me that, you know, the, the, the video was shitty, and I mean, okay, I got to go back to the drawing board, you know. But I, yeah. I what I do well, is easy. I try to. You know, um, you thought I was almost at 100K. Listen, I'm trying to get up to 100,000 subscribers. The problem is, is I need y'all help. Like, in order for me to get us up to 100,000 subscribers, I need full force of my tech community to help me get to 100,000. It can be done. I just need help. I can't, I, I, I'm going to do the work. I'm, I, don't worry about the work. I'm going to do, I'm going to post a video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work hard. Uh, but I do, I definitely need, help from the communities uh and uh, you know i never beg for anything so y'all know i don't beg for anything i say help it ain't begging when you say help so uh, I, I just need help because i'm gonna do the work and uh so uh, i really do appreciate y'all guys for, for watching me uh and uh man i really appreciate y'all coming onto the stream man and uh we're gonna get out of here because my wife probably oh. like he didn't tell me he was gonna stream <laughs> and I'm streaming and, you know, I'm doing my thing, you know. Well, real quick, easy. Um, I guess this is my benediction time because it seems I do this every time I'm on your stream. But uh, because of you and your vision for a community, it has sprung up other communities also. Yes. Which is quite amazing. And I don't know if anybody really knows this or not, but like how Mike got where he's at right now. Um, you could string this, uh, look at the strings and get back to easy on that because through easy, like, like, uh, it's, it's really complicated, but you know, it, you could find the strings going back to easy and also to me also, um, on how everything comes together. It's so amazing how just people can just come together, be good to each other, have each other's backs. Um, you know, like I said, Easy has his communities. Easy brought people in for his community, and then those people are actually creating their own communities, their own identities, and we could clearly see that what's happening with Mike right now, which he's doing. Um, he's something came up, and he was able to run with it, and he's going to run really far with it. So Easy, you call yourself the tech preacher now, but once you hit a certain milestone, probably within the next two years, you will be known as the Godfather to a lot of these smaller creators, especially my wife and Mike, um, Tech From These. Michael, please keep doing what you're doing. You've talked some really good stuff tonight. Um, you have a you have a future. Just keep on talking. And Thank I'm you. telling you that Shadow Gaming and Dex, you need to do that ASAP because that, yep, that blew my mind tonight. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, one last thing, Miss Erica, if you're still watching, you're you're going to be coming on. 
I don't care if your hair's not did, if your makeup's not done. It's all about that bonnet life and no makeup life, okay? Uh, right now, I'm not wearing any makeup. I probably look a hot mess, but I still got the bonnet on. And I still made it on tonight. Also, big shout out to my wife. I got to say my wife. Also, um, uh, scrumptious uh, Miss Kimmy, Gadget gadget Goddess. Um, check out Gadget Goddess and my wife, Tech Valor, Miss Catwoman on Gadget Chats. Also, sh big shout out to LB because he's a really cool guy. Tana's so lit. Tana. Your music, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. um, did I forget anybody else on Wired Wednesday? Yeah. I got 10 and, on my... And, and you know what? I, you know, all these people. I, like, it's this community, man. It's amazing. And I'm yeah. I'm happy that you even let me on. I'm not even a techie. But I'm able to come on and say my voice. And now people know who I am. That's ungodly amazing. Yeah, you know ungodly what? It, it hits the thing. When I first started my YouTube channel, my whole vision was to be at this point. Like my vision was to, it's not about me. It's about my community. And, 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 and so I follow my path that I've been on for so long. And I'm so glad. Listen, I, I feel so good and grateful that I'm able to take, you know, to, to open up a platform for people to come show they, show they shine. And like, you know, Mike and Tanner so lit and other content creators that came on my YouTube channel. And all of a sudden, look at them now. They're blossoming. They're doing what they got to do. And I'm not taking credit for it. A lot of people like to give me credit for it. I don't take credit for it. Uh, I, just, I just believe that my role and my job and what I want to do is my passion and whatever I can do to help the small community. And it's, to me, I'm all about the small community. And... I work hard to and, and my listen. I'm so proud to see Gadget Goddess and Tech Valor doing this, doing their thing. That to me, I look at like, wow, man. You know, I, I feel so proud that they are able to do this. And so for me, I look at myself as a a person that opened the door for somebody that, because I felt this way four years ago when I when I try to go to the bigger YouTubers, I try to do, you know, try to do collaborations and they all told me, go fuck myself, really, for real. Like, so I had this mentality that I would never ever do this to a, a person, an individual that work hard, try hard, that want to go to the next level. I open the door and the found, I give them the foundation to go to the next level. That's what I do here. And for the individual, once I open that door for that individual, they walk through that door and they blossom. I, I, I see a lot of content creators is doing that right now. And I, I really do appreciate that. I don't take no credit for it. I just, I just, this is what my calling is. Like, you know how you say you have a calling. I have a calling. Like my calling is to help people. I don't want, I don't take, I think my, my, my blessings come from when I help people and I, I, I'm going to continue to help people. And that's going to be my blessing. And uh, I really do appreciate that from everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, real quick. Jose Santana, $5 super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Also, be safe down there. Um, if you need a place to stay, I don't know. Hell, I got like four or five women coming over on Monday, but that's a different story for another day. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all very much. We're going to roll out. I appreciate y'all, man. All right. Much love Peace to everybody out. in the building. Later.